<laughs> okay. Uh, are we live? Yeah. It, okay, it we're it, recording it now. Up on uh, on Facebook there. <laughs> F, F this. F All this. Right. F this. Fuck this, Mr. White. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Welcome to another episode at F this. I am your host for today, uh, Nilio, and I am joined by Shantae. I am Duff. And Malcolm, still. <laughs> still. Yeah, that's, that's Malcolm over there. His last name is Still. <laughs> and that's Malcolm Still. Malcolm not in the middle. Malcolm Still. Still in the middle. Malcolm Still sometimes, but not always in the middle. Sometimes usually on the outside. That's what Malcolm sometimes usually on the outside. Usually around the outside. Oh. And uh, Sarah's out there in the ether somewhere. Yeah. She'll be joining us space. shortly, hopefully yeah. here. Yeah, she'll be um, with us shortly. So, yeah. So, uh, we're also joined by you guys, the audience. Uh, so, we hope that you that's, guys that's will... That's the plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we hope that some of you will interact we're with hoping. us. <laughs> we're hoping that you Yeah. We're, we're, we're watching... Um, our comment, our comments on our live feed there. So uh, feel free to join in the discussion. We'll interact with you. Um, yeah, we have a great show tonight here. Uh, so uh, just a bit of uh, housekeeping here. You can follow us on Twitter at F Podcast. Uh, follow us on Instagram at F This Podcast. Add us on Facebook at F Space This Account. This account being all one word. So, um, yeah, uh, we're going to do things a little bit differently from here, uh, here on out. Um, we are trying to stay away from the topics of politics and COVID-19 if we can help it. <laughs> Just because uh, we, along with you guys, I'm sure you all see everything for this everywhere. And it's taxing on our mental health. Just being on social media and seeing all of these uh, news, these depressing like headlines. So we just want to take a step from that. Just uh, be an escape for a few hours or an hour, hopefully not like five hours. Uh, so we uh, join us as we go on this escape here. On our journey. On our, cool. on our staycation. Together. Join us down the spiral of madness. That's right. I'm going on a and fucking radical, we yo. Go. Ooh. All right. Sarah, Sarah will be with us in about 10 minutes. Okay. All right. So. Um, She's beating the kids right now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully with something that's not as uh, any bigger than her thumb. Switch. That's our rule of thumb? The rule, rule of, of thumb. thumb yeah. right. Well, actually, that doesn't apply to kids. You can beat them with anything as big as you want. It's true. You Whatever. can beat them with each other. Yeah, you can beat a kid you. with another kid. <laughs> That's right. Kids make good weapons. <laughs> you grab one kid and throw him across the room with the other kid. You have really hard heads. You just swing them like a club. Huh? That too. <laughs> yeah. Grab one by a leg. By the leg. Like a, <laughs> overhand them. Like, uh -huh. a, like a, what, what, is, what is that one? It's a mace. Is it called a mace? Yeah. Like a ball spiky and ball? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. <laughs> we'll swing them around their heads of the bodily part. <laughs> you tie a rope to their foot. And... <laughs> we <laughs> often laugh and share things about child abuse. It's a good time. Good we, times. Good times. We so swear we're here. normal. Let's, let's fall, okay, just for the sake of this new world, we're like those are jokes, people, right? And we're clearly joking here. Of course, um, half of us here don't have kids, but <laughs> so we we don't know the experience or the mindset just yet. <laughs> We often beat our children with the other children. <laughs> often. Sometimes, often. Sometimes, Sometimes they beat each other with their kids. Right? <laughs> Sometimes, out of, like a sword fight. <laughs> out of nowhere, she gets, out of nowhere, I'll get fucking smacked in the head with an olive. And I'm not talking, I'm not talking the fruit either. Not an olive branch. A full on olive. A full on olive. Today I learned olive is a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this many years old. <laughs> the way you swing her and beat her, she'd be a vegetable. I'm oh. 31 years old, and I learned that Solid. all of was fruit. <laughs> <laughs> you learn, every, learn something new today. I was this many days like old. 
All right. So while we're waiting on Sarah, uh, we can ask her when she comes in. But um, how are you guys feeling on a scale from one to ten with your mental health? One being the worst, ten being the best. How are you feeling, Shante? Oh, that's not the question. Um, <laughs> let's go uh, maybe a seven. Seven? Yeah. Huh. Like, that's... I'm not over the moon excited about my life right now, but I mean, I'm, not, I'm fine. I'm dealing with it. <laughs> Does that count as a seven? <laughs> that certainly counts as a seven, I would okay. say. It's, out Sweetly. it's outside things happening to me in my life that bother me. It's not really anybody involved in my household or anything hmm. i'm great things are great but i'm not fucking happy about it <laughs> do you guys get what i'm saying wow that's a bummer man <laughs> oh well, like, we'd like totally to thank you for tuning in here, guys, <laughs> i hear you let's see if we can turn that frown upside down huh? all right all right, all right. Duff, how are you feeling there's a sparkle uh, on your mustache Ooh, there you go it's a start <laughs> Stuff is sparkling. It's See, not a, it's I not a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little glitter, literal glitter on his stash. Were you hanging out with strippers? Or what? Got a fresh stash now, right now too. We got, yeah. you got you getting a little curl on it. Oh, Pointed. Oh, yeah. Yes, I do. I do have one of those. I have curls. Fancy. <laughs> Fancy. Fancy. Um, Fancy. On a scale, yeah. on a scale of yeah. one to ten, um, ten being the best and one being uh, subpar. <laughs> I'd have to say I would be like around six and a half. Oh, okay. Trying to up me. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I, this, than me. Just I, kidding. I, I'm just kidding. I, I can kind of see, I kind of thought you guys would be around like the same level given like how busy you guys have been like the last few yeah. weeks. Yeah. I, I, I mean, a I, I serious vacation would be nice. Like one day away from everything. Mm. And our children. Everything. And <laughs> that includes the olive that is not a fruit <laughs> and the pollux that is not a constellation. <laughs> or a fish. Or, or a some fish. of you that mispronounce his name. I yeah. learned another thing new today. Pollux was. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that, that would be nice. A nice little just breather um but yeah i'm about six and a half um okay not horribly sad or depressed or or unhappy just not happy mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know like i'm i'm, I'm okay i guess neutral yeah i get I'm neutral like kind of just level yeah it's like you know you're not exactly happy but you're not sad so it's like that really weird in between there. Yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of like Man. happiness purgatory. Yeah, where you're not really happy, but you're not really sad. <laughs> <laughs> you're just. Can straight. we make shirts that say happiness purgatory? <laughs> it's, happiness it's, purgatory. It's kind of like I, trademark I, F this network. <laughs> I'm kind of like. That down. I don't it's, forget. It's kind of like you know in between like four and seven. Yeah. Right, because it, yeah. you know bef before four you're you're a little sad. Mm -hmm. Right, and then after seven, you're on the happier side. After yeah. seven o'clock too. Yeah. yeah, happy hour. Happy hour. Yeah. Yeah. Seven o'clock somewhere. After seven, you're manic. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. All right. That is that is. Go cool for. That, right. that is me right now. Malcolm, how are you feeling? Um, I don't know. Is there a negative on the scale here? <laughs> A minus 12. Minus Somewhere? 12. <laughs> Things are worse than I'm we thought. Out of my fucking mind, that's all. Just, and uh, rolling with it. Just rolling mm. with it. Things could always be better, but they could always be worse too. Yeah. I'm kind of middle of the road, I guess. Rolling with the punches. Yeah. I didn't know. Um, I didn't know negative was a middle of the road. <laughs> I mean, I'm like pretty. Sad. I'm pretty fucking. I'm pretty fucking ecstatic if I'm like sad, at sadly, six and a half. And sadly, negative is the middle of the road. Negative is the middle of the road <laughs> for me. <laughs> kind of, uh, you know. But oh yeah. Well, well, all right. Well, this kind of shit definitely helps, though. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Talking it, talking it out, like chatting with other people, bullshitting. Seriously, we all need to like, we all need to like go and put some gone fishing signs on our doors. Yeah. And yes. just fucking fishing. fuck off. That sounds great. And not, not really go fishing, just kind of. <laughs> Can I get just so sit? Can we sit in a boat? Can we find a boat? <laughs> just, just a big a boat, yacht. Find a boat. Yeah. Like a yacht. Sit in a boat. Where we have I'm servants. Down. I don't know, yeah. man. I might be not, I might be too servants. tempted to jump off and drown myself. Like <laughs> paid servants, not? though, not like slaves. We're not going yeah. on a boat now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean slaves. I'm not going on a boat because not the way to try to either. Yeah, let's not go. We'll just, well, we'll just like permanently put floaties on Malcolm. Can the whole we go time. camping? Oh, do we? Is camping safe for you? I would definitely go camping. Is he gonna yeah. throw himself into the fire? <laughs> Is he gonna throw himself into a tree? Well, you wake up in the morning and I'm gone. My tent's just decrepit, like disheveled. It's all blown broken. over. So I, was gonna, it's like, <laughs> I was gonna say burning. <laughs> gotta, my tent's just smoldering and I'm gone. There's wild animals in the tent. Like, the tent is on fire. Like the tent is just smoking. It's all ash. And Malcolm's clothes. There's a trail of clothes going off into the forest. We're like, oh my god. Oh so my god, the yeti got him. <laughs> the <Malcolm>. yeti. <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeti got him. The North American yeti got him. Anything he did mistaken uh, for a yeti. <laughs> I'm gonna write down must share bear video. Right, bear video. Oh yeah, bear. that is a good video. video. <laughs> oh, I bear. found it again and I loved it. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Isn't it great? It's uh the only problem is like when we posted it to Instagram and cut my head off. Oh <laughs> so it's weird. It's a sign. Yeah. <laughs> no is camping that, for Malcolm. It's an omen. <laughs> is that what those those did, are called? Did we hear are those called omens? Neil's one to ten? Oh um, yeah, I would actually kinda say that I'm probably in the same level as you guys are. Oh, I'd probably say <laughs> Just Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'd probably say a, a solid seven because I mean, not horrible, but not exactly really happy. But I mean, it's not a really bad place. Like I was, I was telling my friend earlier today. I was just like, yeah, I just feel like I have a lot of games to game out with. I have a lot of shows to keep up with. There's maybe only one show that I've been watching, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> It's called Neil's Nerdy News. Well, I think it's going to be at the end of the segment, in uh, near oh. the end of the show with okay. Big Biss. Yeah. yeah. All right. So all it's right, like all right. we have all these options, and I'm just like, I don't honestly feel like doing any of them. I just feel like playing this game on my app. So that's like where I'm at right now. <laughs> all right. Just sort of autopilot, I guess. Totally. I feel that. I, yeah. My bones. I feel you feel that in your bums. In my buns. Buns. I feel that in your buns. Deep down in my buns. In my buns. I know. Well, all right. So, um, <laughs> what's next? What's next? That's a good um, question. What is next? Yeah. Well, what is next? Our good host. Yeah, we sorry, do sorry, have we got... a segment, but like we're, we're we're sort of we're sort of waiting for our member to come back come back for it. So, all right. I think we're going to go to our next one in the meantime. Sounds good. Which is. I'm not too sure if you had one for it, but it was a uh, silver effing lining. Oh yes. So, folks, like um, before, what we were, what I was particularly doing for this podcast was um, Duff set, which was me kind of ranting about something that annoyed the shit out of me or pissed me off, or you know, just made me go on a tirade rant about anything that happened during the week or however long it took before we did another fucking show. And I have decided to absolutely X name that because feeling negative all the time and pushing the negative on everybody else isn't fucking good for anybody. Mm -hmm. Right. And I mean, the, the, the basis of this podcast was for mental health to, you know, find a way to make ourselves feel a little bit better. Yeah. Right. And like I am constantly forever gonna have issues with driving. I don't know why. I need to work on that. Like desperately work on that. You can ask her. <laughs> um, but so I wanted to move away from that. So here we are. Here we are with uh, silver lining. Silver effing linings. <laughs> and uh, my silver effing lining uh, for today is. Um, I don't know if I would say it's necessarily a silver effing lining, but. I was when I when I first saw Guardians of the Galaxy, 
um, you had all these different characters like Groot and uh, Gamora and you know Star Lord or whatever, and then you had Rocket. Yeah. Right. And then I'm like sitting there, and I didn't I didn't know who played Rocket. I never found out beforehand. Mm-hmm. Right. So I'm watching it. I'm listening to it. I'm listening. I'm like, oh my god. And then Shant- uh, Shantae put uh, pointed it out first. She pointed it out to me first because she knows that I love. <laughs> Love, I don't know. Love Bradley Cooper, right? So she's like, like, really loves him, (laughs) but uh, really weird, like a man crush. Oh, yeah, yeah, a little bit. His his funny looking eye and his his crooked nose, you know. (laughs) Anyways, he was um voicing Rocket, and I was like, oh shit, check it out, that's it's fucking Bradley Cooper, and forever and a day now. All I will ever fucking see when I hear Bradley Cooper talk in any film that he does is Rocket. Yeah. Is this little is this little grumpy blowing everything the fuck up, stealing everything that he wants, raccoon. Yeah. And that's that's it. That's all I ever <laughs> see now. Every time I hear Bradley Cooper speak in any Way or form, whether it be on a movie or a fucking interview or whatever, all I picture in my head is Rocket. That's it. <laughs> that is my silver lining. That no matter what, how shitty you're feeling, just go listen to Bradley Cooper talk and imagine Rocket. That's it. So, speaking of. Um rocket raccoon himself uh i watched a movie not too long ago for the first time in almost 10 years <laughs> or maybe not 10 years maybe it was five years but it was uh one little movie called yes man and i completely forgot like the cast that they had in it there i totally forgot they had bradley cooper in it i totally forgot that they also had um who was that there Molly Sims, totally forgot she was in it. I totally forgot um, Danny Masterson was in it too. Oh yeah, yeah. It's been a while since I watched it, but yes, man. Yeah, yes, man. Yes, man. Jim Carrey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, you know who I like in there? That cat, that New Zealand cat, the New Zealand oh, cat. Oh, fuck yeah. The the broker or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Carl. Or, yeah. No, not Carl. That's um, I don't know what his name is, but he's hilarious. I like Zoe Deschanel in it. Yes, this is good too. She was great. She sings that one song <laughs> <laughs> about calling after 10 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> you can call me any other time of day, but don't call me after 10. Oh, right. The live yeah, performance, right? <laughs> With her weird ass band. <laughs> so, That's right. Okay. Since you're, talking, hilarious. Well, since you're talking about um, what's, his, what's his ass? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's his name? Sorry. Uh, we could, we, we could, could just pop his head out <laughs> in between. <laughs> like, oh, hey guys, can you hear me? <laughs> Yo, what up, Sarah? Holy <laughs> fuck! You guys don't even know it. Just. <laughs> what happened? Oh boy, I sound Here like there was like a bar in front of the camera. I like look. You, my hair is dripping wet still because I was in the shower, and uh, will you guys call the first time my fat ass is struggling to put on pants? <laughs> So it was like this huge, huge explosion of shit. And my sister peeks her head in the room and she's like, are you okay? I said, no, I'm not okay. Because I was so late. Normally I'm the one waiting on you guys, but you know, it wasn't that way. <laughs> Today's been one hell of a day, y'all. But look, I did it. I'm so glad you made Beautiful. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Looks great. Thanks. So I only blew dry my bloating. Oh, me? Oh, did you guys already go around the table? We just yeah, covered, we just yeah. covered the mental oh, health from fuck. 1 to 10. 1 being low and 10 being low. Uh, so my 1 to 10. <laughs> um, you know, I'm getting a little better, I think, this week as opposed to the other weeks that I think I was, fuck, sitting at a 3. So this week, I'd say maybe a 7 or an 8. Oh, wow. And the reason I say that is because... Everything is kind of starting to mellow out here. Um, there was some kind of pretty shitty news I got. Um, one of the family friends actually just passed away, and I think it may be from COVID, but that's uh, another story. Logan got five shots today. Took him like a champ. Nice. 
Wow. Oh, awesome. Right. Was it That's... vodka or rum? <laughs> no, I... He's currently sleeping. No, he is asleep for sure, though. Um, no, I don't know. Like, so it's just been one of those weeks where I think everything's been, like, panning out more. Yeah. Uh, or less. That's good to hear. Kind of above average. Everybody yeah. kind of sitting at the same level. Yeah. yeah Except for me. Except I'm always, for Malcolm. He said negative 12. I'm always staring into the abyss at some point or it's another. Fucking Nancy over there. Exactly. You know, you, you got a phone and shit, Malcolm. I'm just saying. <laughs> Making sure my makeup's blended in. <laughs> That's why I don't so, go on camera. I don't, I don't do my we, makeup. What were we silver lining before um, I had to run away? Oh, Bradley yeah. Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Bradley, Bradley Cooper, Cooper is the silver lining. So Christopher's so. silver lining of the week is, is Bradley Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, just, just him. Just no, no. Just looking at him, he's a beautiful just, man. He's a beautiful man. Yes. No, it's 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 forever and a day now. Whenever I like feel shitty about something, there are like little things that I can remember. One of the things is that Bradley Cooper voices Rocket from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, Avengers. Oh, that makes Christopher happy. Makes me happy. Yes. <laughs> and it just should, should. Right? That's right. So that's what we were talking about. And then we kind of carried on. You were talking about Yes Man. Yeah. Bradley Cooper's in Yes Man. Yeah. And then Malcolm had mentioned, um, uh, what's his name? Carl. Oh, his name? no, that was uh, Jim Carrey. I'm trying to find him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who this, who this other guy was. Because um, he had a, uh, maybe his name was Norm. Norman. That sounds, yeah, that sounds yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. I that doubt that. Right. Yeah. But, um, oh, yeah, yeah. It has a Harry Potter theme. Yeah. 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 So, okay. That. <laughs> About that. Forever, for, for, for the longest time in um, Thor, mm. uh, the rock guy, what's his name? Yeah. Oh. YTT, Tiki, Tiki. I'm going to look it up. He's also He's also a director, right? I yeah. thought that was him. I, I thought, thought that was, was him yeah. too. I it thought it was the guy from New Zealand. The yeah. New Zealand actor. Yeah. You heard him on Ragnarok. Oh, I was like, yeah. dude, yeah. I love this guy. Like, yeah. Completely different dude. No, it's, a, it's the fucking director, Ragnarok. <laughs> All right. That's, that's, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to see what the character's name was. Oh, Wakatiki. Korg. Yeah, that's it. Korg. Yeah. I'm glad you guys went waka tiki tiki for like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's Korg. Just keep it going until <laughs> until I find it. Right? Waka tiki tuki tuk. It's like it's like just say, because of the way he talks, and that's why you guys thought that was his name. Huh? Yeah. Same accent, same no, 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 like, tone. The, director, the director's name is Waka tiki. Okay, Taika, that's right. Taika it is. Taika, 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 I remember Taika, watching the Taika, thing Taika, about yeah. Tai Chi. And he's also like he's also really he's also it. a director in the Mandalorian. So yeah. he, he's directed a couple episodes of the Mandalorian. Totally. So, beautiful, beautiful. Great man. Beautiful so, man. So a bit of a connection between uh, this guy Norman in uh, Yes Man and Taika Waititi. He was actually in uh, What We Do in the Shadows. Oh yes! If you ever watch that movie? What you do in the shadows? <laughs> did you, oh, did you guys? Did you guys catch that? Since we're talking about it, uh, the movie? No, no, no. The show? The show. I haven't they're, seen it yet. <laughs> they're they're extending it. Oh, there's gonna be more. Now I gotta really check. Isn't it out. that 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 uh, comedy vampire deal? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, dude, the movie was so fucking funny. Right. It was. <laughs> oh god. So good. My sister and I watched it. Like, the fuck just happened? We laughed, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Anything with Jermaine in it, I'm, I'm all yeah. Bizarre. Yeah. Bizarre. So, uh, Sarah, do you have some memes for us? <laughs> do, what I have memes? do I ever? <laughs> Please, do I have memes? I have like two. I actually have a meme folder on my phone. Okay, and I know that we're supposed to keep everything really uplifted. Oh no. Oh. It's so bad. <laughs> She's lying. It, it doesn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jesus, corn. Oh, God. Hideous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's a far mouth. improvement. Though. Okay, so are you sharing that exactly. to the conversation? So that <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll post it in the thread. But then my other meme, hold on. Oh, God. Fuck, that was so funny. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's the same one. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm looking at the. No, 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 no. Hold on, I got it. Okay. So, has it been hot for you guys there? 
Yes, yeah, it's, it's yeah. hot right now. Canadian it's hot. Not as hot as Alberta. Sweating though, my dude. balls off. Dude, it's it's like really, Shantae, you should dip your balls in a tank of water. Oh, thank you. I should. Babe, give me some water. Because oh. that's what that dog's doing, you see. I like to doing. keep my balls in the water. Ask Chris. Yeah. We could put his balls all over my cable. Okay, and then one more. It says, <laughs> when you get pulled over and you can't afford another ticket. Oh, God. Oh shit! Oh, he's pushing them together. That's, Look, oh, he's boy. really good at that. <laughs> he's really good. At that. <laughs> he's got better looking nipples than I do. Okay, and I'm pissed about this. He must have had well, practice. Have to, have to compare them. Shit. Yeah, we're gonna have to get a public vote <laughs> put on him, this. Put him on the glass. Hurry up! Let me see. <laughs> what again? Me? What? Something about Sam's on Tatters. Tatters, Tatters, Tatters. So those are funny. Do you share them to the thingy? I will certainly. Man, there was one more. I don't think I saved it in my thing. Hold on, there's a whole bunch of pug pictures. <laughs> Thank God for pugs. <laughs> the one does pug hugs. As the one peeks between the curtain over there. There's the whole pug head. It's like Okay, and then this one is really funny. It just says, I haven't had sex in so long, I forgot how to moan. What if I fuck up and bark? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. We're watching Silicon Valley, and what if he's like they were talking about how bad the sex was? And he's like, I took my shirt off, and you literally said the word gulp. <laughs> gulp. <laughs> man, man. She was like, Yeah, it was just like all elbows. <laughs> Why did it hurt? <laughs> everywhere. Skinny people, there's just bones everywhere. <laughs> Worse than graveyard, good. right? <laughs> worse than oh, you guys, I can't good. share pictures in the thread. Weird. On Facebook, you can't, hey? Maybe in oh. the conversations, and then we have it, and then we can share it later. You mean like this one? Because I'm watching like for comments, and it's not letting me. You can't yeah. post pictures into there? No. How about you send them to me, and okay. then I will, post, I will share the screen on the video. And okay, 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 okay. Ooh, getting all technical-like. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I'm, learning. I'm learning shit. You watched the last video that we had? <laughs> uh, was I in it or? I think you were actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Malcolm, this is the one I wanted to share. <laughs> oh, gosh. Here we go. I love it. I love it. <laughs> the best. Okay. Can you do it? All right. The suspense hey, is killing us. Oh, oh, it's so I'm sorry, guys. I don't have a drum roll key. Wait, I... <laughs> there it is. I like all of our drum roll. <laughs> 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 I sound like Carrie <laughs> so the platypus. What is it? We see. All right. She's like, motherfucking okay. phone, restart. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then I sent a couple more just because they're funny. Okay, you got to announce it. You got to say, what the meme? Okay. What the what meme? Wow. 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 Is that Biden, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Biden kissing a Mexican dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you got to say, oh, like, what? I don't have a word for that. Come on, help. Just He's makes biting up everybody. my ear. Oh, my God. Because it's like the Mexican word of the day is Biden. <laughs> I don't have a word for that. Yeah. That's good. That is good. Excellent. Okay, so Aaron Russell asks, still haven't found it. Where can I find Mario Party 3 for 360? <laughs> Um, it's a joke. It's an inside joke between me. I was gonna say, Nintendo doesn't. Oh, like, um, I don't have you this one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you even Google? Funny story, Do you actually, even Google, bro. Uh, he was actually posting in the buy and sell, looking for Mario Party Three and this other uh, Guitar Hero Three for three sixty. So, I kind of. Got him on the phrase, and it was like, "Oh, dude, let me know if you find Mario Party Three for the Xbox 360." I like how he says Mario. I was Mario. gonna say it. It's because Mario. your background is American, and I'm American, so it's Mario. Mario. Uh, I'm Canadian. Mario. Mario. Yeah, but she's Party. she. Shantae ha, is you know. We say it our way, but but I think 
Chris and Malcolm say it like me too. No. Mario. Malcolm says it like Neil too. What's that? Mario. Say Mario. Mario. I didn't hear you doing You can't. It on purpose. <laughs> you, it's, so, it's like when oh, you yeah. say refrigerator too much and you just start to think that the word refrigerator is fucked up. Like, where did this word even come from? Yeah, it's French. Or, or pizza. Refrigerator. <laughs> 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 no, it's, or, it's French Belgian. Or, or pizza. I didn't know pizza. that. Some people <laughs> pronounce yeah, it pizza. Yeah. Pizza. Oh, that's, like, that's like, lame. I, I, I pronounce it. Like everybody, like a normal person, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like, normal like a normal person, person. not like you Nazis. Not like a Nazi. That reminded Nazis. me of something that I saw uh, this past week that I shared, and it's uh, pronouncing popsicles as if it's an ancient Greek name. Yeah. Popsicles. <laughs> popsicles. <laughs> popsicles. I saw that before too. That's a good one. I'm now going to keep calling it popsicles <laughs> you know what i've have you guys seen that shit i don't know if it's like a tiktok but it's like a compilation of this dude and he keeps saying like he pronounces words the way that i guess it pronounce yeah, like it's just <laughs> no it's he's all gosh darn it i'm gonna find it so keep talking and then i'll share it it's too funny i was thinking of that like bicycles. yesterday bicycles okay i'm gonna i'm gonna share some of these memes with the viewers here too. yes please do and you could thank me later y'all champagne lasagna's lasagna bologna bologna yeah 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 <laughs> chittle, chittle, chittle ching is one yeah. of the ones he did it's uh, so funny it? it's bologna and collage <laughs> it's tacos. It's French. Isn't Colono. It? Colono. Oh my god! I have to find this Colono. fucking video. It's so funny. God, everything Bologna. wrong Bologna. from here on out. Bologna, Bologna. and lasagna. And then sausage. It's Bologna. Bologna. <laughs> or um, pronouncing yeah, rain uh, differently. Bologna. That that one with the R E I G N like. Reagan. Reagan. Oh, and then Reagan. 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 Thai. Thai is figure. That's reason. Figure. Reason. <laughs> figure. I was that figure. extra. Stop touching my figures. <laughs> 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 Stop touching my figures. <laughs> 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 oh, we could do this for hours. So we well, could. Yes. <laughs> so I could go let's, on and let's, on. Let's move along. Folks. So we <laughs> That's have. my Duff said in English language is <laughs> fucking dumb. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So if you guys need a reference to this funny shit, here is a link. Watch it later, obviously not while we're here, but that fucking video is so like it makes me laugh and cry with tears. Well, we, it's we so could, funny. We could always it makes watch me it now. Cry my own tears. Okay, ooh, we could do that fun thing, Malcolm. It's that YouTube. Do that thing. That's YouTube, bro. That. Do that thing you do. I don't know if we could do that in public. So good. <laughs> so oh, come good. on. It's not that bad. I mean, I could always stick my mic in my phone like this, and then like we could listen to it. What is it? This what? isn't ASMR. What are you looking for? <laughs> what <are> you? <laughs> Remember you were able to share a video. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do we want to share here? What do we want to look at? I just... I just Pro yep. Pronouncing things? Yeah, oh, yeah, that, yeah. It's, it's fun. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. getting quite good at these things, putting things together. Because okay. his popsicles or whatever, it's yeah. so funny. I'm okay some of the time. I'm never okay. It's just okay. Theater mode. No, Yo, thank you. Theater mode. The age. Oh, fuck. The A tree. The A tree. Okay. I don't so have popcorn. The yeah. tree. I'm going to try to do this. Then let's see. What, you want to set this up for us? Set up the clip before I do this? You wanna oh. let the Are you ready? Tell the viewers what it is. For pronouncing things incorrect. Pronouncing? <laughs> For yeah, pronunciating it's things. To, it's supposed to be funny. Pronunciation and pronunciation. Yes, I like things. it. Pronouncisms. All right, here we go. Oh, Ooh, I'm excited. Look at July it. or whatever day you, of the year you decide to watch or rewatch this video. Three things, real quick, before we get started. One, the weekly winner. Two, an announcement. And three, a, I just said four. Three. A disclaimer. First, the weekly winner. You already know the deal. If you enjoy my videos and want to potentially have your name pronounced incorrectly, then like it, share it, and comment below. I go through all the comments and select whoever's comment I think is the funniest or my favorite, and that person's name gets pronounced incorrectly in the next video. This week, I commented on my last video how thirsty dudes approach girls, and they said when he's doing that throat thing, it reminded me of Squidward choking on. A <laughs> 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 Let me just show you real quick. <laughs> 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 now 
are going to be mispronounced as wait what dog i really don't know how to say that <laughs> Hey, they go to the falls. Actually, the second thing, the announcement. I just launched a new merch store. You can check everything out at www.shop. Hey, this is our show, man. Now, I'm trying to show you what it's kind of just, <laughs> just look at it. You gotta go to the website to see it. Stuff is rockable. It's dope. Third, the disclaimer. Now we're getting into the video. For real, for real, okay? Hurry up. These videos, I'm very picky about which words I choose to mispronounce because not everything sounds funny mis when it's mispronounced, all right? However, oh, I wanted to include every single state, okay? Oh, some God. of which are extremely hard to pronounce in a funny way. So some of these probably won't be that funny, but I'm doing them all anyway. In order of appearance, which means <laughs> I'm ending with Hawaii because Ohana means family. And family. means nobody <laughs> behind. Every state matters. This is yes. serious. No. Let's go. It's time to produce the unity of Satanus incorrectly. This guy's <laughs> hilarious, you guys. Right. Awesome. We want to finish this video, or are we just going to? Um, we've got what two minutes left. Yeah, we got a couple I minutes. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Sorry, I think we can. What now? The whole you camera work. I know. The camera. <laughs> work. <laughs> this guy is so funny. I'm down. Let's go. I love this let's guy. Go. This, is, is, be is, this is the Facebook channel or something. Buckle your butts. Yeah. I just I just want to comment on the camera work. The fast zooming in and out. I like that. <laughs> I wonder what he's doing. I wonder what he's doing that with. I, I, you I, should I, email I, him. I'm just picturing somebody videoing him that's doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah. Okay. Just with his Wait, laptop. Pinay Nay Slavani, Nini Cutie Cute, Gio Raji, Moira Lande, Masisi Achu, Satina, Mama Pusahiri, Sawtooth Karaline, Very Joania, No Rat Teeth Karaline, Rodetti Ice Latte, Very Manut, Kenny. Tanina Sissy A A, Ahoy, Lawajana, I Nod DNA, My Sissy PP, Pee Pee, My Sissy PP, My Sissy PP, and my Ooh, hey, I was born in Mississippi, guys. I love that name though, My Sissy PP. I'm never gonna pronounce it the other way again. Oh, I can't wait to rewatch this slowly. Alama Barack Obama, Misery, Misery, Arkansas, Machine Gun. Oh, wait, what was California? What was California? You guys are loud. Turn it up, Malcolm. Ten Song. We see very Kawania. Never die. Never die. Oh, we just missed California guys. Machine gun, chloride, taxes, way away. White Co. Nini Sinny. Khalifa Rania. Khalifa Rania. Khalifa Rania. Khalifa Rania. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm gonna learn all these pronunciations, oh. and that's all I'm gonna use. Fuck, that was funny. Okay, that was hey. hilarious. Here we go. Uh. Oregano, oregano, weasty, very Joania, never die. Nebro soccer, colary do, Lanetia, no rat teeth, the cutie, <laughs> the cutie, Washana Gatoni, it'll hook, woman ninja, you got a little homie, homie. Horizon wireless, no Horizon wireless, a lot sucker. A lot sucker. A lot sucker. A lot sucker. We need him to do like do Canadian all, things because yeah, I can't even pronounce them. Do provinces. Did he say Hawaii? Yeah, like Saskatchewan. Hawaii. All right. All right. Happy birthday, Amarika. Yo, real talk about Amarika. Amarika. I'm gonna show in the history of geography class. Canada. <sighs> Show this video to you. This video is a no <laughs> I love <laughs> him. I actually not like the name at the beginning of this video. Not like that. <laughs> then, uh, you know, like, share, try to make the best comment, try to make me laugh, do something like that. And if you want to support me, you can do it in style at www.shopchat. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's going to be more stuff added in the right. coming. This days. guy is fucking do. hilarious, though. Like, he just walks around the ball, obviously, before COVID was a thing. And he would, like, just mince mispronounced stores. Mm -hmm. I know, mince, mince. Mince, mince, mince meat stores. 
You need, you need We're to. supposed to be a unit, you guys. Be nice. Yeah. You need, you need to. Oh, Hannah means family. <laughs> <laughs> we make fun of each other. It's all good. That's right. Love me. Okay. So, we didn't uh, make fun of each other. I we just subscribed to him. No, that's mm -hmm. true. Search Chaz Smith. On You're YouTube. damn right you did. Chaz Smith is Sarah. Love you, man. All right, I everybody. Like the, little, the slow zoom in at the end. Right. Follow right. Chaz Smith on YouTube. Yeah. Follow him. And everybody comments Sarah rules. Meme queen. <laughs> Yo, that video was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. sharing that with us. It was fantasticals. 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 Oh. oh. So moving along, we now have uh, my news report. That Neil's that nerdy that. news report. <laughs> Ooh, we need like one of the <laughs> We have one, two, three, <laughs> four, four five jingles. news on the docket. Let's go. Ooh, five. A baker's dozen. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it at all. That's Dude, we so need that as yeah, audio. I saw your eye twitch. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh-huh. like an asshole quiver. What so, did he just say? My ass prolapsed. My ass prolapsed. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Trying to keep it. So, so. The first one is uh, Boys Season 3, or The Boys Season 3. I thought you said boys. Boys. Like, yeah, <laughs> Boys Season boys 3 in the hood. was already ordered before Season 2 even dropped. <gasps> what are you wow. guys' thoughts on this? Why, why did they do that? Yeah. Because they're maybe confident Jesus. with how good Season Jesus. 2 was. The story, right? Jesus well, Christ, the first fucking season was amazing. Oh, oh well then if you're I, getting that much of a chubby oh. for it, I guess it did do well. So you haven't seen any of it, Malcolm? I've heard good things. I haven't seen it myself, and I've been meaning to sit down with it, but I always find myself just going back to the office. So think of, like, if The Watchmen was made in today's society and, like, the, the like, ratchetness and, like, the horribleness of superheroes get dialed up to 20. Yeah. So they become villains. Those are horrible people in this. Yeah. Uh, they're just like assholes. They're yeah. really shitty people. They're like pricks. Shitty people. Like they're they're so, pricks. So if that's the case with the boys, then what's the deal with Watchmen? Is that tightly based on the movie, the flick in the comic too? Is it like uh, um, along the same the lines? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the boys is based on a comic series from the same guy that did Preacher. Yeah. Yeah. If any of you guys watched it. I haven't checked it out oh, yet. Yeah. I fucking love it. <laughs> fucking love it. Oh, That's another show I gotta check out. All those out. are above yeah, our bed. Oh, men, boys, and uh, preacher. Watch all of those. Dude, <laughs> did you check out the well? Did you uh, see did you the fucking the um, oh, trailer the, yeah. for season two? Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, it's so <laughs> it's good. really good. It's so good. <laughs> fucking right. Yeah, they have. I, I think they have like every reason to fucking Fuck it. get it ready. Yeah, it's, mount that, mount that bitch, because. God damn it, it's good. It is. Like, we haven't seen anything like this since The Watchmen. Right. And I'm sure there's some movies here and there that's come out in the last 15 years that are sort of like that. I'd, 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 I'd put it par with, like, Kick-Ass. Yeah. Like, the similarities in Kick-Ass. Yeah, like, that's, that's true. Type of, it's, that it's type like of humor. Humor and brutality. Yeah. Yeah. Like the brutality in it is, like, very par with that. I'm assuming that we're the only ones that fucking watch it then? Um, I've... I've I still have to watch the last episode okay. of season one. Yeah, I keep putting it off. Because <laughs> every time I load up Prime, I'm like, hmm, do I want to watch The Boys or do I want to watch my sci-fi anime? Sci-fi <laughs> anime it is. Anime wins for the is that like tentacle tits or something? No, it's tentacle more... Sex. I like how Sarah popped it. <laughs> it's more I'm just the... like... Technological, neurological tentacles controlling everybody. Told you guys it was tentacles. And going in orifices. So tentacles the second sex. the second news I have on the docket, I don't know if any of you have watched Glow on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Yes. Gorgeous okay. ladies of wrestling. Yes. yes. <laughs> so it's yet another well, on my list. It's amazing. It's so, so good. good. Everybody back home has watched it. It is like so my fucking family, good. They love it too. So, according to Alison Brie, the star, one of the stars of the show, 
Um, due to the global pandemic, the fourth and final season is delayed. We don't know exactly how far along they are on it, mm-hmm. which is good because I have yet to see season three. <laughs> I watched oh. the first two seasons. You gotta binge it, man. <laughs> binge. A lot, of, a lot of filming has been put up for a lot. Yeah, yeah. quite a bit. Um, Even Family Feud. How many seasons are they in now? What's really oh. funny too about that show is me and Chris were watching the first season and we were like looking at the different actors. Oh yeah. A lot of them are way younger than all of us. Yeah. And wow. Way older. Way older. <laughs> Actually too. Wow. Like I was, when I was watching the first two seasons, I was like, hey, I know that wrestler. I know that wrestler. I know that pro wrestler. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was like, they actually got pro wrestlers for yeah. it and consulted them for it. Oh, yeah. And like, it was... Because I mean, it's based quality. on a true story. It's based on yeah. The, the actual book. Yeah. So, yeah. Watch so, that. I've been, I got to catch up on season three. If you guys haven't seen it yet, Glow is really good. Know. Check it out. Really, really good show. And really now we're going to a segment within my own segment. So, <laughs> welcome to the Justice League Snyder Cut Watch slash Update. Ooh. So, Ooh. the I'm word, one, latest yeah. word. That's like ESPN. <laughs> The latest word is Zack Snyder is not using anything that Joss Whedon shot. Good. Which is definitely good. Did you see how he said it? Yeah. He's like, I'll burn this fucking movie before I use it. I'll just put it. (laughs) (laughs) I'll blow that shit up. Which is great because he's using using his own vision for it. And this is what we all wanted to see. I feel like I need to take a shower. I just did. I'm sorry this news is bad. <laughs> it's that it's bad. So bad. I'm so sorry. I just feel so wet right now. Moist. And not in a good way. Just, I'm so sorry, guys. It's humid. It's fuck. It's, it's hot. It's gross. Yeah. So I'm gonna introduce go. going. another segment within a segment. This one might be over, <laughs> but it's the new mutants update. And I updated yeah. it last night after wow. you guys showed me the uh, Comic Con. Trailer right. and it looks awesome, nice. <laughs> ridiculously amazing. My my only my only thing against it is fucking Adam Beach is not getting any love in <laughs> comic <laughs> book <laughs> movies. Did they so even show movies. that in the teaser or the, the, right? the opening? Yeah, minutes? Or like yeah. yeah. What, what was, uh, was so like, you it, called he, it? Mom. He basically <laughs> died <laughs> he in, like, in like two minutes. Two minutes in within the movie. He See, said that and his body flew across. <laughs> <laughs> Just about to go. Hey, the plus side, we gotta take the silver linings in this. At least he didn't punch a woman in his in his first scene, like in Suicide Squad. It's like yeah. the first First Nations superhero and he, and punches, he punches a woman. A woman. <laughs> That's not even cool, man. We don't even do that. All right. <laughs> so it's like yeah. the, the maker of the movie went to one reserve. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> well, so I guess they beat their women. Oh god. <laughs> 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 now I gotta. I forgot who the director of that is. Now I gotta. See David Ayer. Uh, oh, yeah. Fuck you, dude. Quick as hell. <laughs> so yeah, we watched the trailer there. It looked really great. It made it look. I, I really hope the like three plus years that we've waited for this right. is worth it there. <laughs> but um, I mean, it's, it's supposed, supposed to, be, to be the first horror. Yeah. Yeah. Comic book. Well. Somewhat Marvel horror, I Marvel guess. Horror. Yeah. yeah, so not necessarily like Nightmare on Elm Street horror. Or no, horror right. I don't know. You guys, well, I mean, are you talking about like in the way of videos, like our movies, the first Marvel horror? No, oh, yeah. wait, there was because Blade, Blade was, was kind of scary, kind of yeah. Was yeah. Horror, yeah. Mm-hmm. and then even Venom had its scary moments. Yeah, Venom yeah. was mm-hmm. dark. I like yeah. that. I dude, I yeah. dug Venom. They they actually executed it beautifully. I agree. I agree. It was they could have benefited a lot more if they went with an R rating just to yeah. see him, you know, eat some get people. even, yeah. yeah. He had like Literally. vicious choppers and he yeah. didn't use they, didn't even use. <laughs> they better make um Carnage. The Carnage one rated R. I think they are actually. The whole point of Carnage is that he massacres people, not just killer. like a hand. Didn't he like already get his whole family, and that's how Venom finds him? Is like he's this cri- Kim. I'm I'm like stroking out apparently. So, Criminally insane person who murders his whole family. Yeah, he's a psychopath. Yeah, right, right, right. And then Spider-Man has to team up with Venom sorry, sorry. to take him down along right. with a handful of other superheroes because Venom's or 
Carnage is that powerful. Yeah. Because he's a bad symbiote. Bad, bad, bad. So, um, <laughs> yeah. getting back on track here, I believe that was about it for You're my forgotten. nerdy news update there. That's a segment inception right there. That's beautiful. <laughs> right. I, you Small. stole the words right out of my face. Small <laughs> rabbit hole. So, um, next up, we were going to review a movie, but we're probably just going to talk shit about it anyway because some of us <laughs> couldn't finish it. <laughs> okay, how long did we make it? It we was like, like about three, 15 minutes three left. Quarters left. Right. We're almost done. We couldn't handle it anymore. Uh, it just it's just okay. It's just Nicholas okay, Cage in the cages of Nicholas okay. could be. It was very cagey. So was, not to be confused uh, with the Nicholas Cage psychedelic horror movie Mandy. This one is the Nicholas Cage cosmic horror movie cosmic. <laughs> Color Out of Space. Yes. Oh, and it was based on HP Lovecraft's work. Guys. So, <laughs> did, it, did everyone watch it? Um, I think the only person that didn't was uh, Malcolm. I watched uh, thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Okay. Thirty minutes. And okay. I was, did you get to the part? Did you get to the part where Nicholas Cage was taking a shower? No, but I'm what? gonna watch it now. Oh, did, you, did you watch <laughs> the part where Nicholas Cage scene. yells at his so kids good. for leaving out the the llamas? The llamas. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, his ridiculous! He, when he was yelling at uh, his daughter. When he's re yelling, just yelling in general yeah. all the his fucking time. His exquisite acting in this movie. Oh, oh my god! If you love that, um, it might be a bit of a chore to sit through Mandy, but you'll see like that Nicolas Cage amped up to eleven. Nice! Wow! Oh, shit! Nice. We but, get to like, see references to his his craziness on a uh, Hollywood Babylon like regularly <laughs> but watching that movie honestly we were trying to make it through and it just got to a point where we were just like so fucking grossed out and tired that we were just like we can't even yeah we were dude tired. the the whole mom because a scene in the movie I hate uh, to spoil it horror. Yeah. The mom and the kid are Reminded. struck by this radioactive cosmic being That's thing. Color. They were touched by, by color. color. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a good that color. Was their bodies together. They were yes, and it was oh. like she was trying to yeah. absorb him. Yeah. And it was very sad. Yeah. It was disturbing. As well. It was. There was a scene I that I thought it. was a really <laughs> nice callback. <laughs> To 1980s the thing that's what i was just gonna say yeah that's what i was just gonna say right now <laughs> when you see the, when you see the alpacas in the fucking in the in the bar oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah in the are they alpacas or are they llamas they're alpacas because alpacas. Oh. Alpacas. he milks one at one point yeah yeah oh, oh yeah hey, by and the like, way everybody that's watching and listening uh spoilers, <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> if you haven't seen uh, color out of space and are wanting to please um maybe mute this for about five minutes maybe pass on it well, well we no kind of just fucked like, up like everything it. else well i mean i mean hp some... lovecraft does have his fans but go ahead or like a cult I, I, following. at some point in time i'm gonna finish it right i'm gonna have yeah, to like just, well we just won't tell you how it's it's just, it ends then in just, the background <laughs> or when I'm not fucking completely fucking zonk tired. Yeah, yeah. We true. Gonna, you guys are best like We're gonna have fucking bad dreams now. <laughs> <laughs> and then, what do you know? We did. I did. Oh, anyways, shit. of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was definitely like a really slow burn of a movie. Yeah. Um, I never read any H.P. Lovecraft, so I don't know how faithful this movie is to his work. But I'll give it like a three out of five stars rating all right can i just say something about this flick i thought it was really interesting that <clears throat> because hp lovecraft is responsible for like the cthulhu mythology and um uh the necronomicon yeah and the necronomicon is present in this movie oh mm -hmm. yeah so the, uh, the necronomicon book. exists within his writing yeah oh the yeah. book that he wrote that also um so I read that the director of this movie was planning on doing a H.P. Lovecraft trilogy. So I don't oh, know wow. if his next two movies are going to be tied to this. If anything, if, at the very least, I think it will just be in the same universe. But you probably won't see the same recurring characters in it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what stories this director is going to um, adapt. Right. But I hope at least one of them is Cthulhu. Right. Right? <laughs> so, three out of five, you yeah. Three out of five. All right. Yeah. I, I'm going to give it a, yeah, I'm going to be a little generous. What I was what I was watching, what I did enjoy, I, I'd probably give it 
That's really what I find. Mm. I'm with you guys. I was uh, digging it the first 30 minutes that I watched. Um, I, spoilers again, I was at the point where that, uh, whatever the fuck, the meteor just hit the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. So nothing went crazy yet, I guess. Yeah. For me. It all goes to shit after that. All right, Sarah, what did you, what do you, <laughs> uh, what did you, you know? I one thing that I thought when the movie had started was I really liked the imagery and the use of the color. Um, you see red kind of pop up every time some bad shit's going to happen, and even the color itself is a rendition of the color red. Yeah, I like so, I, like whenever like everything, the mom's blood and like the color, the wallpaper was red when the daughter's washing, you know, cleaning up after the incident. Um, so I thought that was really cool because somebody who I don't know, just kind of follows that that wave um, when it comes to movies and you have like the cues and the color cues. So I thought that was cool. The imagery was cool, especially the use of uh, nature around it and how the thing kind of just drew the electromagnetic lightning to it was really awesome. Um, I think it was a pretty shit ending. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I am the lover of all things good and corny, but I also have to agree that Nicolas Cage was an awesome choice for the dad. Uh, Nicolas Cage is just an awesome actor, but I think that is one of more his dynamic um, actor because you know he's able to hit so many different levels. Um, so I think I'd give it a solid. 2.5 stars because just because it was a little bit on the dark side and it's kind of hard to follow if you're not familiar with a lot of H.P. Lovecraft's kind of writing because he does kind of take the back road when it comes to setting place for something. He's very poetic when it comes to imagery and stuff, but you don't really have a lot of background. It's just, here you are, fuck it. Like... <laughs> It, was, it seems like a lot of the shit that you see is like up for interpretation kind of thing. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. exactly what it is. And a lot of the times when um, writers and directors who have the same niche, like they want people to interpret it in their own means, um, you know, in the end of the movie, I'll save it because I won't want to spoil it for you guys. But there's a scene where the one person <clears throat> who was able to walk away from this incident is just kind of looking out and it's very vast and everything is very muted in like the color and the scenery. But he says something that I'll let you guys watch and kind of interpret for yourself. It was just, it's very interesting, I think. Yeah, I, I also wanted to mention too, like the color thing, I thought it was interesting that they used magenta for it. Cause I, yes. uh, correct me if I'm wrong chat or anybody else, um, I thought, that magenta was like the default color you see that we as humans, as a species, can't um, basically um, not interpret, but uh, can't understand colors that we haven't seen. Like imagine trying, imagine a color you haven't seen before and it's radically different from everything else. And I think we as a species, human beings, see those colors as one thing which is magenta and that's like what was being spread in this movie right yeah actually it's funny that you said that because i kind of looked into it just to give it a little bit more oomph and it says magenta is the color that doesn't exist and why so that's the link that i'll leave down there just so we yeah. don't get too in depth for it but if anybody wants to just kind of sit there you have two primary colors red and blue and of course mm. then you have yellow so then magenta is almost a third uh, on the color wheel, it's not even like a, a secondary color. So yeah. it's just something to to leave with you guys. So now we have um, that out of the way. Um, so since it didn't really blow a lot of our minds, I think we'll go into something that'll hopefully blow our minds Ooh, with uh, Shantaisms. <gasps> Ooh, we're going to see some Shantaisms. So I usually talk about random funny shit and like the random thoughts that I've had. And one of the, I have a bunch of funny things that I wrote down, like took notes for, but the one that, that start is starting my whole thought process, and I think it's kind of weird, is uh, uh, if you go running at 11 p.m., that means you're a night person. And if you go running at 5 a.m., that means you're a morning person. 
But if you go running at 3 a.m., that means you're a suspicious person. <laughs> so, and yeah. that's funny, right? And we're all like, oh, that's funny. And then it made me think about because what is our obsession with murder and serial killers and all of these crazy murder shows? Because I, for one, am obsessed. What is wrong <laughs> with me? You're not. I think I it's the taboo. To last night, watching a documentary about the gold, the Golden State Killer. Me and Chris were <sighs> going to bed every time the new episode comes up about um, "I'll Be Gone in the Dark," and um, <laughs> one of my favorite podcasts is "My Favorite Murder." And then, not only is the podcast is extremely popular, and there's like a million bazillion women and fan groups that follow these two women, but like, there's merch. Mm-hmm. There's an animated series. <laughs> That's There's cool. Books. It's amazing. And I'm just like, quick question. What's wrong with us? What's going on? Where did you guys see this documentary on? Um, oh, um, H- on H- Hey H- You. H- that one was on Hey You. The one with the Golden State Killer. Yeah. The, and then um, I'll Be Gone in the Dark is on HBO, which we watched on Crave. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Just- and then you can buy the book. The series I'll Be Gone in the Dark is um, written by, is it Michelle McNamara? Yeah. And it's a book. There you go. That Get they right talk, down they on that spoke mic. to about it on. Um, they spoke <laughs> about it on the podcast. My favorite murder. That's how we learned about these detectives and these and these books and the, the writers. But then um, we watched the shows because they were on TV. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just like that's my Shanteism because like something new will pop up about something and we'll be so stoked because we've heard about it or we learned about it on the podcast with our favorite podcasters. And then we have to go into it too. Like we're little detectives. We have to go looking and we have to go digging and finding out as much as, or at least me anyways, I'm like really obsessed. And then when Michelle McNamara was writing this book and doing all this detective work and putting all this stuff together, like I felt like her and I felt like we've moved into a generation of people who are interested enough to go digging and looking for clues too, just like these other shows on Netflix where, where these there's all these documentaries where people hurt each other mm. or someone's victimized by something, and then other people come forward and they share their story or they <laughs> dig and they find a clue like well what's with this thing in the background, or you know what I mean like other people who are even more observant than you are over something and it brings because our generation is nosy as fuck is it are we fucking nosy as fuck and it's the taboo honestly like if you think about it everything that happens is something that you could not even fathom you would never do and it's not just a story anymore it actually happened these people are murdered in horrific ways and it's just it's so outlandish it's almost like a fairy tale at like the opposite end of a fairy tale because you couldn't even come up with that you wouldn't ever like if you think about trying to kill somebody it's just so foreign to you you know what i mean so like it's just the disconnect. Morbid, morbid yes it's exa- so you disconnect so and you try to put yourself into this murderer's shoes and think well where would he go and it never ends up in the same because they're obviously not in the right mind and you guys michelle mcnamara's description like her words like it's um it's someone reading her words that she wrote through these episodes and explaining how she went through the process of getting awesome getting the boxes of all this information and all these cases and like all the all the information about it right and me and chris were having nightmares yeah. we would watch an episode <laughs> go to sleep like oh that was a good episode let's go to bed <laughs> and then like seriously waking up in the middle of the night scared like oh my god what if there was like a freaking t-shirt dick and man in the doorway <laughs> and he's wearing a mask and i'm freaked out and I like only did that once, guys. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this is what happened in real life and i was like totally freaking out in my dreams about him so it's funny you you, you brought you bring that up because t-shirt um dickin'? No. Shut <laughs> so, up. So that author right. passed away not too long ago. Yes. Right? yes. So yes. I, I was following it. One of the podcasts I follow, um, they had somebody who I guess was with her, like an assistant or something. I think I was uh, listening to Talk is Jericho, uh-huh. and he had that guy on, and they were talking about it. And that actually got me a bit interested. Like I just listened to she it last week. She was working very closely with another yes. guy who yeah, was yeah. also looking into everything I, with her. I think he was like a private detective. He was, yes, guy. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's something that I'm gonna be checking out because it sounded so like interesting. Like, well, you got to you got to think about it. it. It took them forty 
43, 40, 43 yeah. 42 years Plus to years. finally catch yes. this guy. And, he, and was, why? he was depicted as three different types of people. Yeah. He, yep. he, he was the he East was, Area, or no, no sorry. No. The first he was one. the Visalia. He was the Visalia um, um, robber. I right. See, yeah. So he'd he'd break into your house and then he'd like you know burglarize your home he would or whatever. Rummage through your rummage shit. Through your shit. <laughs> right. And then he became a rapist. East area rapist. He became the East area rapist. And then after the East area rapist, he became the first night stalker, the original right. night stalker. Right. Mm-hmm. Which was the original serial killer. And then um, she coined the term the 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 golden, golden state the killer. golden state killer because it was all up and down California. Right. Yep. And they didn't know how fast this guy was able to travel. California is a very large, uh, yes, thank you. I was going to say continent. Where the hell? (laughs) (laughs) And they had like had his shoes and everything. They had like shoe prints of this guy. A kid saw a car that this dude had stolen. Like, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe the the woman who you speak of, the author, was Patton Oswald's late right. wife. Yes. 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 So I mean, just it's such a mind blur because he was in Hollywood doing all these awesome movies, and then she's trying to catch a yeah. serial killer. Like yeah. that's insane. She's yes. Going to the old neighborhood. She's going to the old victims. She's Talking to their families. People. She's going through every single box, every single sheet of paper that are in all these boxes, like a room, like the big, as big as our basement, filled with boxes. And she's evidence. going through with them 24-7. Yeah. Taking like, a walk through history. And it started off, it started off as her writing an article for a new right. paper. Yeah. Mm. And which then, she, then evolved into writing a novel. Mm. About, she couldn't even meet her dates with this yeah. story because there was too much. So much. It was wow. so much that, she was so interesting was and like so, much, so that much that she couldn't stop. Like, like could you was, imagine like solving a case yeah so, could you imagine like really jumping into somebody's mind yeah like the mind of a murderer that i think it goes right back with the taboo and that's cool that you say that shante because i actually i asked i also watch somebody that's like a murder makeup mystery or murder mystery makeup she's cute she does her makeup and tells all these like stories <laughs> but she was actually featuring the golden state killer so that's how i heard of it because all of this happened before you know we were able to comprehend the whole thing but that's cool that you brought that up because i just watched that last week so So i know that's i know it's not normal shantaisms but Mm -hmm. it's very shantae yeah ish ism (laughs) it's very shantae i'm obsessed and i've been obsessed for like years so we just it just recently happened so i wanted to bring that up because i was just recently i read that funny thing about being at 3 a.m you're a suspicious person (laughs) because i'm like he was that person peeking in windows at 3 a.m. and walking the back way around your house at 3 a.m. So would you say that he's like the new, like biggest notorious serial killer in America now? Yes. Yes. They've considered him one of the the most notorious. Because it it took him 40. I mean, they named him after the state of California. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And like, who is that? Uh, I think the only other one that would be bigger would be Zodiac. Right, yeah. but they never caught him. They never. Well, and then, well, they don't don't know. Don't know. But uh, I think the only other one that was somewhat big until he was caught was BTK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But um, speaking of BTK, um, mm-hmm. that's um, one of the other. It's a non-fictional show that we watch on Netflix, which is Mindhunter. Hunter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, season two is about the BTK yeah. killer. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't. They they're building it. Right, and they're still building it. They don't. They don't. They don't catch. If you haven't watched um, Headhunter, you need to because Mind the character. Mine, sorry, Mind, Mind Hunter. Hunter. What did I say? Headhunter. <laughs> Mind Hunter. You have to too because not only are the characters, they're all real, right? They're mm-hmm. all based on real stories, but the characters look amazingly like the real life people. Wow. Yeah. Uh huh. And then one of the main. Um, who was it? Kemper? I can't yeah, remember. Kemper, the actor yep. that played him, did a really good job. Well, what's funny to me is that um, we spend a lot of time listening to Audible, and Kemper is actually a voice actor from Prison. <gasps> so that's stories cool. And, and books that you've actually probably listened to, if you have, uh, you know, books on tape or whatever, he could have voiced the characters you guys like. That's amazing. I think the actor that plays Kemper is also in another Netflix show that's getting a second season in about a week or so. 
Really? I'm referring to the Umbrella Academy. Ooh, that's oh, I've seen that. I like the show. <clears throat> Do we need to lock it up? Did I just take the Shantaeism on a wild ride? No, it was actually really cool. Okay, good. Yeah. So then, uh, well, we got we got some time to kill because we gotta wait till Death comes back for Whoa. the word of the day. Okay. Well, May I, I have more? Unless yeah. Malcolm wants it, take it, Malcolm. Oh, if you got more Shantaeisms, by all means, I love to hear them. Um, it's just something silly, like how Let's you know, do it, the sure. best part of a cucumber tastes like the worst part of a watermelon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it does. Right? Yeah. And it makes you think about it. I'm just like, I fucking love cucumbers. I don't yeah. not want to eat a watermelon. That's because that's the inside the tastes. So Ew, good. the rind is gross. Yeah, that's true. It's like the but bitter. But I will freaking hog down on some cucumbers <laughs> for it. sure. Oh, some watermelon water. <laughs> yeah, it's so delicious. It's like even the best day of work isn't as good as the worst day of fishing or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Canada. <laughs> Canada, blame Canada. Okay. You got any more? Um, I wait. Maybe one more. Okay, one more. <laughs> so you know when you're okay this happens to me all the freaking time like if i want to say something super funny but a word is misspelled or like i there's a typo it totally kills the joke it's the same thing for like if <laughs> uh, if you make a typo online in an argument it's like the same as your voice cracking <laughs> when you're having an argument in person right or you stutter yeah, when they're just like going off and you're you crack and you're like ah and you just you just sound like a moron but it's just gone. You're so mad and you mess up. It's the yeah. same thing. So when you're trying to say something like that and you do a typo or you're like ripping bars I and just, then you like stumble. It's like when you're so mad and you're trying to say fuck it and the phone's like ducking, ducking, duck, duck, duck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and people just laugh at you and you're like, No, you suck, you're a bad person for laughing. Can I just ducking say right now that if, if you're ever in an argument with me and we're like in a text argument and you make a typo, I'm not gonna let you fucking live that down. No. Every <laughs> time. Okay, well, Every time. Like, and Christopher too, they're they're like both notorious and I always fuck up the joke by misspelling it. <laughs> Every almost every time. No, Me too, okay. but that's again another way that we're the <laughs> same. There's one more thing is is uh when I whenever I see like a meme and, and I get a kick out of it, it's a good meme, it's interesting, you know. But it's got a typo in it. Oh, okay, I can't get past can't. the typo, Loses man. All credibility. Oh, yeah. I'll still share it because it's even yeah. more yeah. fucking funny. Oh, I know, no and then I'm like, why? Grammar? usage yeah. what's so fucking when ever you're having a stroke reading something <laughs> right? and you're just like i mean like there's the, take oh. a breath bitch like i'm angry come on. about it I'm let like, me I'm let me take bitch. a breath put punctuation today. somewhere please there's there's a reason why things are commas matter and you spell properly no i'm just at the point now where if the, if the meme is like that i just i stop reading Can't. it and i mm-hmm. fucking hide the it's message it's not funny anymore it's the difference uh, I delete the person i stump mm-hmm. them in the face and then i go it's murder the difference them. between it's time to I eat grandpa and it's time to eat grandpa <laughs> exactly. or I'm go help well, jack well, off of the again. horse or <laughs> go help jack off the horse Right. <laughs> you need a comma, bitch. <laughs> can, can can we swing back around to uh, nerdy news for a sec? I got yeah, something sure. to share here that everybody yes, seems please. to have missed. Uh oh, it's uh, the new Kevin Smith movie that's coming oh. out soon. Kilroy was here. I this heard it was a horror, horror movie, movie. Yeah. A slasher. Ooh, what? Like a comedy slasher? Well, it's got humor it's in it. Time. Yeah. But, uh, well, I would hope so. It's Kevin it. Smith. Yeah, I'm looking it's for. I'm so digging up the trailer right test. now. Ooh, let's watch dig, it. dig, baby, dig. Uh, all his same favorite uh, family and friends yes, acting in it, right? Awesome. And it's, uh, I love Justin Long. Now, to set up Justin the whole Long. Kilroy thing, it was right. like a, a <laughs> World War. It was a World War Two era uh, drawing, I guess you could say. Oh, yeah. And uh, you know, it's uh, typically the uh, the face peeking over a fence with a bald head and a prominent nose, and the fingers like peeking over the wall or the fence. Yeah, you, you're familiar with that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I could draw it in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just I'm just gonna pull it up here and, and show everybody if that's okay with you guys. That's yeah. Really fun. Let's yeah. See yeah. It. So Sarah, it looks. Let's let's close see your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> you're drawing flowers. So if you're familiar with Kilroy, this is what Kilroy looks like. Wow. Okay, it's that guy. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody used to draw him. Like I remember drawing him when I was a kid. Yeah, right. Oh, and that's already creepy. And that's what the slasher looks like. He's got a mask that looks like that. I don't think it's so. creepy. I think it's cute. Oh, like, wait till you see this. Oh, wait till you see this. Gonna, like, I like that. Nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look for the mask. It's like Squidward. All right. All right. All right. Oh, I'm scared. Already. And it, it kind of your husband's kinda, next to you. Hug him. I got glitter uh, next to me. Uh, it kind of ruined the the Kilroy face for me because of that. 
Great. Okay, so you know this whole sharing <laughs> stream thing is kind of sketchy. That was can not, you guys see it? it was almost uh, sexy. I can now, yeah, I do now. Can you, can you see? Okay, Modacus. Okay, because if you're, if you're watching on your own screen, it's going to be a delay here. <laughs> Modacus picture. Oh, smart. Here we go. <laughs> Schmodak. Schmodacus. Here we go. Blind the eyes that cannot see, make deaf the ears that cannot hear, close the mouth that cannot tell, and send the monster back to hell. Oh. Yeah. Then his name was Roy send Holmes. that fool back to hell. Rage. He already had a taste for blood. Oh, holy shit. What is happening? Nothing will stop your Roy if he wants to get me. God. You must give me a heart attack. I'm a middle-aged man who eats like shit and hubs floor cleaner all day. <laughs> Same. This is Alicio and Ernesto. Hola, amigos. Me llamo Father Pat. Bro. On out. The online donations have put us over the top. It's going to take a lot more money for that heart transplant. Keep killing Boogeyman. That is just some superstitious bullshit. Oh. I'll make my special sweet tea. I'm smoke. <laughs> you see that? I can't even taste it. Yes. I'm in. All the way. Yeah. Sold on Chris Jericho. Yes. Who does a crocodile? Gator. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Nice. Oh, yeah. I don't like that weird old mask. It's very I'm, bizarre, huh? I'm in now. One hundred percent. Well, you, 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 you guys. I mean, I just gotta. I'm, I'm down with like the serial killer shows, but shit like this, I'm like, why? I just, <laughs> I just. I, There's worse horror movies or horror movies out there. I've, I've watched movie. Saw, and they were like, I loved the the back of it, like the story. Yeah, the puzzles and stuff. So one, two, and three were cool, and then like they started snapping guys' legs for like no problem, no no issue. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, that old guy needs to die. Like, <laughs> and then like there was there was no artistry to it no. or anything. Well, I think <laughs> they, the artistry spiral, spiral might be. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited about Spiral. Yeah. <laughs> What's it's, a, it's along the lines of Jigsaw, so I'm super stoked. Yeah, yeah I like that they sort of stepped was, away from the main storyline. It's yeah. it looks like it's like a spin-off of short, yeah. of sorts. Yeah. Yeah. Um so that was great. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in I mean, because I like that. I We're love. supposed to I, I, I'm pause in because, I mean, now, I, you guys. I also fucking love I also love Tusk. Yeah. So oh, I've yet to see that one too. Tusk. <laughs> and red state <laughs> i've watched red state <laughs> and i fucking love red state that was a good so, one yeah. i don't know i just want to say right now that uh, uh given the current um uh climate in the world today with uh pedophilia and all that yeah mm -hmm. that the uh <laughs> the one character in kilroy was here uh played by ralph garman <laughs> is a <laughs> pedophilic priest and that's yeah. fuck i just i don't know i can't get behind that right now mm -mm. <laughs> yeah i don't know it's just because everything's so crazy right now. Yeah, I don't, yeah. don't want to get in on that. I don't yeah. want to get into that. But yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Just the whole Ralph Garman character is kind of well, that's going to be hard for me to wrap my head around. Yeah, yeah. He's such a great guy in real life. And he has a talk. Yeah. Maybe they don't make him like you know that sort of predatory thing, but make him like a. a I saw a belt, homie. Um, yeah. No, he's, he's uh, like, <laughs> straight up. I've been pretty sure. I've been following this movie, uh, Kevin Smith talking about it, and Ralph. Yeah, he's a creepy. 
Okay. Yeah, we don't need to talk about it. But no, okay. it's anyway, not. Anyway, right. <laughs> okay, let's moving on. We're now going to be enlightened about various slang terms our generation or our previous ge- or next generation has defined with the urban word of the day. Urban right. word of the day. Duff, what do we All have right. for today? Well, today we do have bees trigger. Bees trigger. Bees trigger. That's so, uh, like a, a reverse cheeseburger where the meat is the bread, <laughs> the bread is the meat. Oh, I like that. That's like actually that. what I was what thinking I too. Was Beast Trigger. Beast Trigger. Or maybe it's like a, a, a new plant kind of patty, but like they put bees in it instead of cow. All right. I'm going to say <laughs> it's a turd wrapped in cheese. It's turd wrapped in cheese. Yes. All right. <laughs> turd burger. <laughs> <laughs> Any guesses? My love. I'm oh, gonna God. go with honey chugging. Honey chugging. Honey chugging. Wow. That's almost well, like you know. You guys are Canadian. Do you guys really chug syrup? Chug, chug, chug. You're gonna have to come up here to find that out. That's right. <laughs> get tried. Anyways, sorry. You are, guys. You'll get here. Hey, you'll get here. Okay, no, you are all wrong. Fuck oh. you. <laughs> that bee's trigger is a glitch in the matrix. Oh. <laughs> oh, like when two people look the same and they're sitting right next to each other? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, like if me and Chante ever sit next to each other, they'll be like, who the fuck? What's going on? Yeah, everyone will just freak right out. Oh, I didn't mean to say yeah like that. Yeah. 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 Sorry about that. Yes, bitch. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, six to seven. So, <laughs> sorry, I five and a half it. to eight. <laughs> Bang! All right, now ten, eleven, bitch. Right. Well, let's hear this one. All right. Hey, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 we're gonna that. go with a, a glizzy gobbler. What? Glizzy. That's gobbler. glizzy gobbler. That's glizzy. a girl from Harry Potter. She's in. <laughs> she's in Hufflepuff. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I seen it. Um, I seen it. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. I think I might know what it is. Glizzy gobbler. So I'm gonna say it's uh, somebody's ding dong dipped in uh, <laughs> glitter and a chick that you know knobs on it. <laughs> Lobs Instead of knob. ding dong ditching, we're ding dong dipping these days. Yes, <laughs> in glitter dong, dong, of all things. Dong dong dipping. You guys, I uh, think I, I just got dong, my. I, dong edible glitter if that exists it oh, does it, it does quite exist quite and it's yeah, beautiful Neil. <laughs> of course oh, you're in a cake home like Neil. This is edible <laughs> oh my god I, think I need to borrow some for the next time i go on a date <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh yes, yes. <laughs> she said hell yes. okay so that's my guess what are your guys' guesses penis glitter Penis <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say it's um a turkey dipped in Glitter. sparkly mashed potatoes. Wow. Ooh, wow this, that sounds wow. fucking delicious. Can we have sparkly right? mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving? Dude, Thanksgiving, yes. Shante, we don't, we don't I expect shit to be sparkly. Oh, it's on. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a just because turkey soon. Yeah, have right. to. <laughs> just because yeah, we're going to have it's a just because cute. turkey. We always have a just because turkey. Yeah. I'm sad. Don't worry, we'll send you some. One time yes. I made a whole turkey and then no one ate it. <laughs> I would fucking eat it. <laughs> I ate it. Like I, I remember a taking piece. a whole bunch home. <laughs> I remember that. Though. I ended up giving a huge giant Ziploc bag of turkey to Malcolm. <laughs> I, I'm always taking the leftovers. <laughs> to the Malcolm. So the a, Malcolm. a glizzy gobbler. Get yourself a Malcolm. Okay, Get what yourself is a gl- glizzy gobbler. Uh, so it is a person who completely dominates hot dogs during <laughs> consumption. Dude, that sounds like an what? Aussie word. That sounds like an Australian yeah, word. Yeah. Um, Australian hold on. Just a, hold on. Just a second. Just a second. I have a question. Is he during does, consumption. How does one so, dominate hot dogs? <laughs> does he call it a bitch before he eats it? Calls it a dirty, dirty, stinky dirty, bitch? Dirty, dirty, dirty whore. Dirty, 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 d
you well, take the my trash. Do they make sure they're on top or something? Or what? <laughs> they step on it. Just flat it out. You're they, a they, sandwich. No, they, Slap they, it. They dress it. They dress it. They, no, they dress it. They, yeah. they dress it in leather and they spank it a little bit. That's right. You know what I mean? And then they dominate it just for a few minutes. Are you sure? They, you're a dirty hoe. And then they put all the condiments on. Cause they give it assless <laughs> chaps. Oh my God. Oh, and they whip it. Where does the butt? Is it like? It. I have a question. Okay, now nice I'm, crop. It's I'm like, just, mm, take that. I'm just. Where's the butt of a hot like a cat of nine somebody tails? Somebody right. seductively Jesus. eating a hot dog in front of somebody else on purpose. That's what I'm pick- Yeah, seductively like eating deep throating? a hot dog. Uh, yeah. as he, as he holds the ball. <laughs> deep throating yeah. a hot dog <laughs> next to a horny bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you just said. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> I'm staying by mine. It's wiener glitter. <laughs> let's just let's just stick with what we thought it was. <laughs> this is fucking trash. Mastication. <laughs> Dominatrix fucking hot dog. I like yours. Let's go with that. Okay. So welcome to the uh, dominating hot dog podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I challenge every one of you. Hot dogs dominating all the time. Hot dogs. I got hot dogs in the fridge downstairs. I challenge us all. <laughs> to take a video of us. How many wieners can you fit in your throat before you choke and die? All right. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone. I feel like we have some locals we could ask. <laughs> was, that, was that towards someone? No. <laughs> no. no. Oh, in the area. Shots fired. Not, not the towards the city of Across. 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 Okay. Shots fired. Across. Let's bring it on in, guys. All right. Really so, good. Now we're going to go get to the very wholesome part of our podcast. Oh, fuck. Wholesome part of our podcast? <laughs> Can we come back to the wholesome part? Ever? So Let's circle around. This is the segment that we Dance call. Me outside, right? Ooh. It, it's touched called, me. It touched me, but in, in a, a good, good way. way. You mean so, like Ralph Garman pushed me? Oh, man. Oh, fucking oh, shit. Touched me in a Michael Scott way, not a Michael Jackson way. Michael Scott, yes. There we go. He has Keith good Richards. intentions. Yeah. Good intentions. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, who wants to start this off? Who has a wholesome bit that they want to share that just warms their heart this week? Oh, I'll start. Okay. I'll let you guys think. <laughs> so, for me, just about anything that involves my nieces or nephews, just if I see my siblings share anything, um, it just absolutely warms my heart. I, I love all of my nieces and nephews. So my brother, um, long story short, he, he doesn't see his daughter often. And he shared a video of his daughter. And it was quite cute. And it was nice to see him actually getting videos of her, um, pictures of her and sharing them with the rest of the family because we don't get to see her. And it just absolutely warmed my heart to see my niece. For sure. Well, nice. That's All right. a good one, dude. That That's was nice. my wholesome part of the week. You got touched in a good way. Does anybody else have any anything wholesome they want to share? Um, yeah, as, sorry. As, um, as much as... Um, <laughs> up, eh? <laughs> as much as all of drives me absolutely bonkers. Uh. Um, <laughs> Every morning, every morning she'll come into our room and she'll just crawl into bed with us, but she'll snuggle with me. And fuck you, Mama. I just it's you know it's it's kind of it kind of levels my day, mm-hmm. right? I mean, throughout the rest of the day, she'll like make me want to fucking rip my hair out <laughs> and stab my eyes with a fucking dull pencil. Beat but her, beat her against the wall like it's like a wreck. I'll beat my wife with her. <laughs> <laughs> this came out of you, you whore. Look what you mean. How dare you? Hear how Sarah talks to me? He uh, didn't. He didn't. <laughs> Duff did but, not get a haircut. His hair is that way because of the <laughs> his daughter caused out. him. <laughs> He's straight falling out. Yeah. No, and. Anytime I leave the house, it doesn't matter how long I leave the house. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I fucking come back and she sees me, she's like, "Oh my god, dad!" She's like, "It's so, like it's, it's so like I've left for like days or weeks Ever. or months or forever she because the concept her. because the concept of fucking time is still not there." They are the so, same person. Yeah. They are both equally <laughs> annoying and equally lovable. 
<laughs> oh, you're so lucky, Shantae. I know. She's not. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 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 the warm and fuzzy thing of the week for me. All right. So, so did you guys hear the story about the boy who saved his sister from a dog? A yes, dog? and wait, I have a warm and fuzzy. So that my warm and fuzzy is that all the Avengers came together to um Yes. This boy all right. for are being we gonna, a superhero. Are we gonna show a video of that? I'm gonna show I know, I, I'm, I got sorry, it. I, for me the whole situation, I can't look at the He's so beat up from the dog. I we you guys share whatever you want about it. There's articles and stuff like that. I just thought it was cool that like almost one by one or like two by two, the Avengers came out of the woodwork to come and like tell this. The first was Captain America, yeah. and he what said I, that he was what going I, to. What, what? Sorry, go, go ahead. What? Go. Sorry, go ahead, okay. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> he said that he was okay. going to send um, an Avengers like su- signature like metal badass shield and this little kid has a scar i'm sure everybody's seen he's got a Mm -hmm. stitches up here you could tell there's some facial paralyzation but this kid ran in front of his little sister because he saw the dog coming and he jumped like as a child who doesn't really have a concept of of real bravery yet like that kid showed major like they could have ran they did not do that. He, he could have grabbed her and ran or like just, but he jumped, he put himself, he literally took his physical body yeah. and he placed it in front of the stock and it was, it was not painless. You, you, you could tell that there was some definite ouch there. And this kid, like this, I just, I look at him and it's like, fuck yeah, his parents are doing something right. There's hope for the world. That was my warm and fuzzy. What yes. I, my favorite part of what the whole situation was, was his comments about the situation and how um, Chris Evans, Captain America was like, well, what makes everybody special? You know, what, what, what makes you, you know, like what makes you a superhero? And he was like, I'm not a superhero. Yeah. I'm just me. Yeah. And that makes me special because mm-hmm. I'm me. That makes him a fucking superhero. So That's good parenting that right was, there. That was like the probably the the, the the most warming part about the story. Like, yes, yeah. the her- heroism, him saving his sister, but it was the whole like that kid's genuine as fuck. Fucking yeah. way. Like, All kids are genuine. Parents. They don't know how to like not be genuine. If a kid tells you you're fat, you're like, well, fuck, I'm fat. That's true. <laughs> it's like the two most honest people in the world are a drunk and a kid. And your dog. Yeah. Ooh. Well, yeah, but they can't tell your secrets. I think Unless kids, think kids are just like drunk midgets. They just love yeah. like drunk midgets. Exactly. Same thing. They fall all over the place just like drunk midgets. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even hold their balance when you like shove them. Well, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Ooh, well, I mean, I feel like <laughs> mine is all <laughs> fucked <laughs> off now. Yeah. Dang. Yours was really good. That definitely, I think, because I was like, ooh, ooh, I got something to say about it. It would definitely it was like a warm and fuzzy for me. Honestly, like, I have three boys. I have my friend's kid here now, so I have four boys in my house. And wow. it's loud and messy and smelly and just fucking insane all the time but honest to god my warm and fuzzy is when the house is quiet and they're all sleeping and there's no fucking kids around (laughs) well i mean aside from that but when i hear them talk to each other like my middle child is almost seven and he talks like a grown-ass man like (laughs) he said tonight i made fettuccine and i quote this is D A M good, but with N at the end. I was like, "Fool, you're not supposed to know how to spell cuss words." Did you say creamy fettuccine? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's say it. Lady creamy. <laughs> Inside joke. Uh, <laughs> I love it, love but it. no, I, my kids are definitely the highlight of my week, my day, my night, everything, and just I would. I was meant to be a mom because, you know, I ask myself all the time, oh, I should have been a doctor. I should have started after high school. And honestly, like, I have time for that. Why can't I be both? I was meant to be my mom. Uh, Today, yeah, today my youngest, who is 18 months, got 
five shots and this fool cried a little bit and then I pulled a, a lemonade sucker out my pocket and he was cool. He was like, mm. <laughs> that was it for the rest of the day. He yeah. didn't cry. Nothing. Good. He was my Good. trooper. I was so proud. Awesome. That's a lot of shots in one day. Yeah, man. That is uh, because he turned one. Oh, my God. Well, because he turned one in February and that's when all the COVID shit happened. So they pushed it back and pushed it back. And now he's 18 uh, months. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm glad that his shots were pushed back anyway, but still it just sucked because everybody had masks on today, even me. And so he kept looking at me kind of funny. He literally was born in February of 19 and was little so he didn't we didn't go out much just besides our family houses and now he's like 18 months and he still hasn't been out much so when he goes out it's like this whoa and that's something i think we should touch about in the mom we'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow tune in tomorrow at 9 30 for nobody pees alone mom cast whoop whoop let me tell you moms you want to be there so <laughs> thank you for sharing that uh, that was beautiful Malcolm, do you have anything that uh, yeah. was wholesome for you this week? I got nothing. nothing. Why the I fuck a, not? I That's I got a cold, dead heart. And yeah, I, he played Red Red Dead Redemption for like three days straight. I think that's a fucking touchy thing. That's a thing. great game. Well, I escaped my miserable home life, and I was, went into the Wild West for a while. So that's <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to elaborate on that. I just enjoyed it a lot. It was a lot of fun. Thank God. There we go. But okay. other than that, I... No, I don't. That's, have a, like I said, let's take some fucking silver linings somewhere. Yeah. There's one right there. I had a good cup of coffee this morning, I guess. It's oh, something. I had a Red Bull. You had a Red Bull? Hmm? That's a good way to start the day, too, I think. I, just, I don't see anything wrong with having an energy drink once in a while, you know? Mm -hmm. no. I like it the sugar up free like ones. Does. Yeah. People get a problem with it because they're like, I don't know. If it's like for a day, then yeah, you have an issue. Yeah, the problem yeah. is when you're drinking like more than yeah. two a day, mm -hmm. like straight, like, like, and like, like good for not experience. eating, <laughs> not drinking Dude. water. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm a baker, so it runs on it. It goes through your blood. You got nos crossing through your veins. Right <laughs> your pee is bright green. You're like, whoa. Sadly, yeah, I'm glows. Have a high <laughs> you can make your own glow sticks. <laughs> so I think I Cat think mom. your thing totally jibes with our next segment in dig this. Oh, yeah. So, dig this. We're just talking about what we've been digging in the last week or so. Um, do you want to start, Shantae? Are Hell, you... yeah. All right. So, I've been watching Drag Race forever because I'm a huge group yes. of fan. Of course, because my name is Shantae. Is that shit, Shantae? Love it. I love Drag Race, and I watch drag queen shit left and right all day long. And there's, like, all these different seasons, and they're all over the world. But mm -hmm. I just watched the one from Canada. <laughs> Oh. you guys oh my god drag race canada is so fucking funny like i remember because uh, chris and the kids i think were upstairs and i was downstairs doing something working and drag race is on the background i was hysterically laughing i have never watched a first episode of drag race ever where i was like the shit they were saying or the stuff that was happening was so funny that i was like hysterically laughing so anyways, if you like drag queens. <laughs> uh, who doesn't like fucking well, drag queens? I know queens. you do, and most other girls do. The guys at the table don't really watch it, but Chris gets it. Well, what I watch it one of our male viewers actually says that he loves it too. Michael Morgan. Yes. So said, OMG, <laughs> same. You got to watch Candidate though, because um, I think I'm watching it on same Crave. Thing. I think it was Crave or Hey You. Guys. Yeah, that's what you told me, Chris. I think it's Crave. Oh. So, because you can get all the RuPaul stuff and all the drag race stuff on there, and oh, they release this. a new episode each week, so it's still new for um, Drag Race Canada. And RuPaul isn't on the show, at least not yet. But, well, then I'm kind of mad because RuPaul is my favorite part. He's she got so much in. sass. She chimes in for um for male, for she male, <laughs> but um, male. but she's but, male. but she isn't actually there. Hmm. Oh. I know, I'm bummed out about you. But, I mean, hello. Uh, she can't get to Canada, so. That's right. But that's what I've been digging on. Maybe All right. Laugh. I feel it. Duff, what have things. you been digging lately? Um, so brave. when we. Always. Just kidding. Always. That's, that's some nonstop. Thanks. Um, so every time we go and do deliveries, we are listening. I'm driving. Yeah. And I am constantly tired. So I can't listen to music because I can drone out and then I'll crash and I'll kill us all. Well so 
I don't listen to music while I drive because I can drone out, crash, and kill us all. Like and you're I doing right now. Don't want to drone out, <laughs> crash, and kill us all. So instead of listening to music where I'll drone out, crash, and kill us all, <laughs> I uh, either listen to podcasts or I listen to books because you actually have to pay attention to what's being right. said. Um, so lately we've been listening to the um, Hunger Games trilogy. <gasps> yeah, don't die, man. <laughs> don't die, Malcolm. What'd you do? Sarah's blow up doll face. Right? <laughs> so yeah, we've been listening to the Hunger Games. Uh, I trilogy, just I love the we, we finished it yeah. completely because we wanted to um set ourselves up for the prequel, which they Ooh. just recently released. What? The book. The prequel to the Hunger Games. That's I didn't called. fucking know that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's called Songs and Snakes. I am so off the loop. Songs yeah. of what? Songbirds and Snakes? Songbirds and Snakes. Yeah. And you guys, it's about, sure. um, it's about President Snow. Yeah, well, it's, it's about, about Cornelius. Cornelius. It's Cornelius Snow. Snow as a boy. Yeah. Which oh, my is, God. I so have President to read that. Snow. Yeah. So we've been, I've been, we've been listening to that a lot, and I've been listening to that a lot, and it's just, I don't know. It's... An amazing book. If you have yeah. read all of the Hunger Games books, yeah. if you've watched oh, the movies, if you're in it hard like we are, just like Harry Potter, then you'll totally yeah. dig the new book. I mean, you'll be completely disappointed in the movies after. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. you know what? Yeah. That's just but, that's yeah. the books you already disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, thank you so much for sharing that, Chris. That's actually really cool. I'm super stoked. I'm gonna go find it literally when oh, we're yeah. done with this yeah. podcast. Yeah. yeah, we'll 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 post. As soon as the book came out, we went and bought it. Yeah. And then we were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so we and then so I so we then I, on Audible too. yeah. So then I checked on Audible. I was like, oh sweet, it's here. Let's listen to it then. Wow. Maybe. We have all these points, so we get books randomly with the months. Yeah. Maybe we can see a Hunger Games podcast in the future. No oh, way. Oh, I'm down. Maybe. Can I come? Maybe. We, yeah. We'll see. Probably <laughs> when the Harry Potter one concludes. Yeah. Which will never happen. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm like, Harry Potter's forever. <laughs> I think we're on chapter four. <laughs> chapter, <laughs> chapter four. Of four or five. Book one. Book one. <laughs> see, it's never going to end. I can't commit. It can't, yeah. yeah well, I, I mean, Harry I Potter is just as fast. Very, 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 very far fucking future. Sure, I'd love to do a fucking. We can just talk about it randomly, guys. We don't yeah. have to make it a thing. God. Yeah, we that's maybe true. Wait because till this new trilogy finish. I wonder if there's a trivia. Let's do some trivia. Uh, yeah. <gasps> we oh. should do like a trivia cast. Yeah. For like Harry Potter, for okay. Hunger Games, for you know everything. Well, there's, there's, We've been doing the Harry Potter trivia. Yeah, we could do like there's a game, thing. like a, like yeah. a game show. One of us. Could Ooh, go. Okay, we'll talk about that after the show's over. Anywho, <laughs> stay <laughs> at task. Neil, Neil, yo, what has been uh, uh, your your favorite thing of right. the, the week this week? Uh, I got to get through it first. It's just I got to respond to one of our uh, listeners here who mm-hmm. is. Uh, reacting to what you've been talking about. Uh, Michael says, do you agree with the winner of All-Stars 5 and um, who was crowned on Friday? I don't remember, honestly. Mm. Do you want me to look it up? He says to keep them updated. So, I mean, okay. I had to look because it's been a while because I just was able to start watching again. Mm. I'll have to see. I'll tell you, Michael. So, to answer Duff's question about what I've been digging lately, and it ties into my last visit here with these glorious people, they have introduced me to Silicon Valley. Fuck yes. And it's a show that I've been meaning to check out for some time. It's so I've just good. kept putting it off and off and off until last week when I was here visiting, they Silicon put on Valley. Silicon Valley and it was just enthralling it was hilarious it was fucking great yeah and it was just like i it, think i think that's the it's it's constantly on now when you're here yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're always, yeah. it's always just on and we're always just watching it now like when i went home i actually renewed my crave subscription <laughs> just to watch, watch it, it. Oh, nice. <laughs> so that's how good it is i highly recommend silicon valley yes. you'll see a few familiar faces on it from yes. various movies and shows that you've watched yeah. um that's been great um I almost wanted to say, uh, before I watched this, the one that I was going to mention was actually the new Unsolved Mysteries. Oh, yeah, dude. 
so which good. really tie like really feeds into the true crime uh, documentary um, uh, crowd or, or trend, if you will, that's been going on in the last few years. And it's incredibly enthralling. I like what they've done with it, but maybe I'll talk about it more when they drop the second part of season one. Uh, Malcolm, do you have anything that you've been digging lately? Maybe a little bit of the Western world you've immersed yourself into <laughs> as Ar one Arthur Morgan. You're familiar with it. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to go in. I'm not going to. I'm not a gamer. Not really. I'm like more of a casual kind of thing. I'll go into one and I'll just obsess over it for like a yeah, week straight. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll just tune out after a while. I just won't play any video games. I'm not, I, don't, I don't sit there and game out all the time. I don't go online to game anymore because it's just it's too toxic for me you know i, I yeah. can't listen to kids call each other the n word mm -hmm. and the f word and you know mm -hmm. just it's just too much but this particular game i enjoyed because it's uh it was to me i feel it seemed very realistic yeah not just uh visually but like the story was immersive right your home base is a camp that thrives and it's like a living breathing thing that you have to nurture mm -hmm. You got to take care of it. You got to, you got chores that you have to do, right? You, yeah. Like yeah, your character has to like literally carry bales of hay to the horse to feed them. He's got to chop wood. He's got to, you know, carry oats to the kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That type of shit. And you go around this huge map and you do good deeds or bad deeds. And depending on what you do is, you know, it tips the balance of your character. Yeah, you can that's really cool. You can be a good person, right? Yeah. If you... If you hurt an innocent person, you lose what? What is it? Some kind of points, honor points. Yeah, I think it's honor points. For yeah, it. you lose or gain honor points, right? It's, I think it's like, more people should play that. Yeah, it's like it's like, a, it's it's so like an fun. RPG. Yeah. yeah, it's a sandbox type game. Yeah, um, just, really? it's like Grand Theft Auto in the Western world, basically. It's made by the same uh, companies that make the Grand Theft Auto video games. Yeah, but this one's not. It doesn't revolve around having to commit crimes right yeah. it's not like grand theft auto or they but it is still like rpg that. that's awesome yeah yeah you gotta you gotta maintain your health you gotta maintain the health of your horse you gotta feed your horse and clean it and talk to it and you know um <laughs> go on missions and shit pretty unsurprising for a game that was in contention for game of the year when it came out yeah, dude, wow. everything about the game was it was so intimidating to me when i first got it that i didn't play it for what the first like seven or eight months that I had it, I played yeah. it. I played a little bit of it in the beginning, and then I just oh, let yeah. it sit there. I got, I got that for your yeah. fucking, I got that for Christmas. For Duff got it for me for Christmas. Thank you again. Sorry, I didn't appreciate it at first, but now I'm like way in there, and I just I just dove in. I'm like I'm just gonna do this. And play All it. right. And I'm enjoying it. It's fun. Good wholesome right. fun. Sarah, what have you been digging yes. lately? Well, I want to say. I want to give uh, some kind of credit to, like, my most favorite author in the whole wide world. Can you guys guess who it is? Stephen King? HP yes. Lovecraft? Yep. Nope. Stephen <laughs> King. I <laughs> fucking... <laughs> definitely. HP Lovecraft is cool. I mean, I'm not going to knock him, but Stephen King is, oh, like, I don't know why, but I've been really, like, big on him since I was maybe 12. <laughs> No. no, no. What did you say? No, I said I don't know. Stop I mean, it! I said Christopher Moore. I don't know. It's Stephen King. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> Stephen King's awesome, but I can't give him as much credit to my week as I would like, um, because when I was a kid, I read the Richard Bachman series. It was like a whole book and there's like two or three uh, stories or books that he had wrote under the pseudonym Richard Bachman. And I mean, that is what truly made me a Stephen King fan. I think I was like 10, <laughs> started early. Mm -hmm. But this week I have to give super big props to Drumroll Organization. <laughs> Everybody's like, what the Fuck. We're okay, like so we're like where? Is as you guys yeah, no, it's a big thing. Like <laughs> when you get I don't know, like just everything is so much disarray. So when I get something organized, 
I kind of feel like, oh, fuck yeah. So Logan took a three-hour nap earlier this week, and I was able to organize the entire kitchen. I mopped. I swept. It was like a thing. And I just felt so uh, accomplished, I guess. And so even my wrote this? No. <laughs> I said I want because I've been reading a lot more as of late. Um, uh -huh, brat. But I've been more excited about organizing because I'm in my mid thirties, and that's just what we do. I'm, yeah, I mean, as I also washed a massive fucking car. You guys saw that I got a new car. Yeah, yes, congratulations! Huge. Congratulations on the new really wheels. pretty. Bro, it's really parking this pretty. bitch is so much fun. <laughs> I bet. It's a GMC Yukon XL, 1500 XL Denali. Like, that's the package or whatever. This son of a bitch is pretty. I named her Blanche because she's white and she's old, but she's still sexy. But, <laughs> Blanche. But uh, I are very nice vehicles. Dude, like washing this car was like a workout and a half. I, I don't have my watch on right now, but I've met my steps every fucking day of the week this yeah, week. Yeah, girl. So yes. I haven't been wearing mine, but I know for sure I've been meeting all oh, yeah. the steps. Yeah, for sure. I go up fucking, fucking five flights of stairs every day. <laughs> oh dang. Well, as long as Malcolm doesn't fall down them again. Oh <laughs> well kudos to you guys for doing your steps and stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. I've just been Thanks, fucking man. what's the word? <laughs> So Westernizing. Yes. No, I almost. Yes, Michael. <laughs> yes, sedentary. I love him. Sedentary. I've been sedentary. I've been sedentary for the past week or so. So fuck it. It's okay. Uh, well, no, I mean it's it. Not entirely. We get to see you more often than last week. Oh yeah, I come like, by last week. I... Last week we saw you once for a bit. Well, and... I come by and visit, but when I'm at home, I'm just fucking slothing on the couch like a. Anyway, you know what? If sure that. I don't want that. It's not, you know, well, if that her, is what it takes. And I'm going to sit at your house and sloth it out for a day. Yeah. <laughs> if that's what it takes to get you through that slump, because you know how it is. You have ups and downs. And if you're going to have a down, then own it. Just say, you know, there was a down week and there's nothing wrong with having a fucking down week. Absolutely not. Yeah, uh, I appreciate that. And I have to keep telling, I have to keep reminding myself that it's okay not to be okay. It's okay. Don't be to hard not, on yourself. To not try to. You know, every day doesn't have to be a mission to fucking change the world. No, no, exactly. <clears throat> I don't think. I think. I don't think we should. I, I that shouldn't be any of our mission statements ever. No, exactly. No no, 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 no. We should. We should be in the mission statement of trying to save ourselves. Yeah. And the rest of the world, yay! Well, the rest of the world can fall behind and do whatever the fuck it does. The rest of the world can fuck themselves. That's right. <laughs> our circle is your circle is what matters to you. Take care of your circle. Take care of your family. Uh, that would be my advice for. The future for anybody out there that struggles with uh, anxiety and depression and they go on to social media and it just perpetuates that cycle and it makes everything worse just unplug for a while you know hang out with your family and, and, and just enjoy or it. just go for the memes or the memes, or the memes. memes. Yeah. Yeah. stick to the fun stuff right yeah. yep. the depressing stuff will really get scroll to past it, it. it or that's why fucking I, unfollow that's why i deleted my for sure my social i deleted all my social media it's probably a uh, little overreaction on my part but you know what i needed it yeah that's all that matters. You are missed, Malcolm. Know that. Well, I'm still here in spirit. <laughs> and on F this. And I, I pop. I, I do take. I do maintain all the social media accounts. So I'm, mm -hmm. I do have a bit of a social media presence, but it's strictly for business. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that's. So it's it was nice to hear what everyone's digging and. Uh, yeah, it's been yeah. been pretty great. <laughs> so, okay, so I wanted to do one thing. Yeah. All right before we get to winding up here, um, I want to. So I'm doing a thing. Oh yeah, oh. we're gonna get. We'll yes. get. We'll get was, you two to. to yeah. I was just gonna get and Sarah like, as well. Sorry, yeah. my phone died, guys. So I'm not on video. I'm no worries. Sorry. I was actually just here. gonna get into the um, ending housekeeping where we you're gonna talk about our upcoming oh, shows. Yeah. Yeah. So um, here we uh, tomorrow we have a couple of shows coming up. Uh, we have one, uh, since Def wanted to, he's really excited about this and it's like Amazing. rubbing off on, on some of us here too. <laughs> no. So yes, I'm going to be doing a thing. Um, it's been like something that we've been discussing for a very, very long time. Like almost since the beginning of the inception of, of left of good was the idea of having a punk podcast mm -hmm. and um, 
myself and Malcolm, uh, we were going to start being the hosts, where now it's more so going to be me a host, and then Malcolm being a co-host sometimes. I'll be your part-time, like Andy Richter to yes. your Conan O'Brien. That's right. Deal. That's that's exactly what it is. Um, so I'm doing a thing. Um, it's called um, Are You Listening to Me, Punk? You listen yes, I am. <laughs> you listening to me, punk? That's it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, there's a comma there. <laughs> Are you listening to me, punk? Anyways, that's that's the thing. And um, for my very fucking first episode, I have um, Ephraim um, Trolls, who so is cool. the lead singer for uh, uh, Death, by, Death Stereo, by Stereo, and who is also the lead singer for uh, Voodoo Glow Skulls, and he's also a member of Manic Hispanic. He's a front man. Yeah. So cool. Like, so, dude, Voodoo so Glow Skulls. Dude, like the Voodoo Glow Skulls. No, like seriously, Death by Stereo. I'm kind of excited. So I am like super, super, <laughs> super stoked about this. Um, yeah, yeah. It was a, it was, it was just a shot in the fucking dark. Um, mm-hmm. I am, I follow him on on Instagram, and you know, like I'm, I'm a little bit of a creep, but I, I wish him happy birthday every fucking year, type of thing. And every once in a while, eighty of your friends, man. And every once in a while, every once in a while, we'll like, I'll have That's like a, a silver lining right there. <laughs> I'll have a com- that's for right. sure. I'll have a conversation with him about what's up or whatever. But um, yeah, so I sh- I was a shot in the dark. I I was like, dude, um, I'm gonna be hosting a show, punk uh, punk podcast. I was wondering if you wanted to do a Q and A, and he was like, yeah, let's do it, man. And you're so, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I damn near had a ventilator fell over and passed out. But no, I'm not sending girl in that hard just yet. I'm getting there <laughs> though. I'm getting there. Um, but yeah, so tune in, fucking please enjoy. Um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant artist. For sure. Um, love all his music, um, all of it. Um, my, my, yeah, I mean, as you can tell, Death by Star is one of my fucking favorite bands of all time. So yeah, please come in, listen, join us. So excited um, for you. Ask questions. Um, yeah. Oh, I did want to like, Housekeep with Sarah because Sarah, you dabble in the punk. So yeah, We've share, had a tell lot your friends. friends back home would be interested. Yeah. I, there are quite a few people who are chomping at the bit, actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've been seeing but, it um, too. But yeah, so like there it is. Yeah. Find them on Facebook, guys. They are my friend. Go ahead and look under my friends list. Start targeting YOU. They will pop up. Please follow and get ready for some. Bad ass podcasting. Yeah, so Great that's conversations a, with some pretty cool people. And and that's not it. Like I want to try and like, you know, getting more and more guests. Yeah. So this is yeah, for sure. the first one. That this is so exciting, like, Chris. We'll do right now. Like if you need help, need me to help you, I will gladly reach out to to different artists and bands as well. And, um, um, and he, uh, Malcolm had mentioned also that we're gonna have like one of the the good old local local boys from this area. Yeah. That's uh, really cool. Wave. Yeah. So that's in the, that's in the works for having them. They're 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 a great band. Based out of Victoria now for the past fifteen, sixteen or so. And years. then the that's local kind of bands are the yeah. fucking heart of punk rock anyway. I mean that's oh, where absolutely. punk rock started I mean, and it's in that's, band that's garage. What that's what stereo was. That's what they are. That's what yep. they're about. The whole DIY mm-hmm. situation. Mm-hmm. That's why I fucking love them so much. Right? So P I Y. Punk it right. yourself. <laughs> so yeah come join us yeah, fucking dude, um, tomorrow is gonna be fucking amazing. a big day yeah, it's gonna yeah, be a right. busy day and then Ooh. and then um my wife and so my wife my wife, <laughs> my wife. <laughs> she's so pretty what episode was it where it was the mom episode of FS? episode six dear mom that's when yeah. i first got into your guys's podcasting and now here i am so i kind of took the reins on that episode and it was for the moms so we talked about family life we talked about you know like different kinds of raising kids issues yes. i mean just like some real shit the shit you're not supposed to say out loud the shit you, do you anyway. share with your mom friends the shit you share with the people you trust um this is just real life shit real moms hanging out no judgment there friends hanging out and it's not like this corny live laugh love shit even though if you're into that that's fine but we're not like that we're gonna be hanging out we're gonna talk about some stuff and um it's it's a, it's a mom cast and it's called nobody pees alone and if you're a mom you understand exactly what fucking a 
Okay, so if you're a parent, if you're a mom, and you want to come chill and talk about whatever, bring up issues, you have questions, like anything, guys, bring it to the table. We're going to discuss it. And the reason why we chose 9.30 tomorrow is because um, a lot of kids' bedtimes are about 8, 8.30. And this is I not like, a show I, for children. Oh, right? I know COVID is like madhouse time, right? <laughs> they're just falling asleep wherever in the house, food hanging off their faces. And you just cover them up wherever. Don't contact. pee on the carpet. So there. Um, find us. Okay, Facebook.com slash psalone.cast.7. Yeah. Or start. on any of our friends lists. Nobody yes. Peace yeah. Alone is any of our friends list. Super easy. If you guys are just like, fuck it, I can't find it, we will send you the link in Messenger. Please yeah. ask because this is a show, like all of our other shows, that you do not want to miss. This Who is, are the hosts? Um, it's going to be me, Shantae, Cherie, Morgan, and Sarah Stewart over uh-huh. there. And um, we're going to have lots of other moms zoom in. So if you want to zoom in and talk with us too and be in the episode live on Facebook, you can do that. We'll, we'll pull you in. But you can also just sneak around in the comments and add stuff or whatever. For sure. Um, just privately, anonymously, you can do that too. We'll keep it anonymous. If you guys want to talk about vaginas or whatever, we'll do that. It's totally up to you. <laughs> we're going to do it anyway. But anyway, so there. So oh. Sarah, Sarah and Shantae, no strangers to podcasting, of course. No. Nope. But Cherie is a Don't new, be scared. Cherie is new to this, yeah. so. Cherie yeah. is, the like, one of the best people ever, you guys. You're totally yes. going to love her. She is no holds barred, and she's an awesome mom. So she's going to have a lot of good insight, especially uh-huh. for her background and stuff like that. We're going to go over that tomorrow. Yeah. So you guys give her lots of support and give her yeah. lots of encouragement. And show Sarah, up and, uh, add your mom, add your grandma. Yeah. Lastly, um, so this one isn't really part of the Eplis family network, but I'll be a part of it with a friend. So me and my friend are doing this uh, pro wrestling podcast on Saturday nights, sometimes Tuesday nights, but we're still working out the details with that there. Might go to a different night. Um, Do you guys have an online presence? Sorry. Uh, it's mainly on Twitch at the moment. Do you have like a website or a link or not, not yet, at not least. Yet no. Okay. So uh, on Twitch, you can either follow myself at uh, Neilander41 or uh, NoobTube on Twitch. Or, you know, you can follow my Facebook page. I'll share the video with it there. We're, we're just going to, like, spend an hour, hour and a half discussing pro wrestling. So uh, that's our thing. It's not really part of the F this network at the moment, but... It might be in the future. We'll see how that goes. There. Follow Neil on Facebook, brother. You know you're Neil, 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 <laughs> Neil, Neil. Neil is the wrestling guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Good I dig job, that. Sarah. Wow, that I was great. That. Hey, that was there was uh, just enough silence in that to put the music behind it. <laughs> <laughs> um, follow us on Twitter at F Podcast. Add us on Facebook at F This Account. Follow us on Instagram at F This Podcast. Um, this has been episode 12. Anything else you guys want to add? <laughs> yes. Search for, search for our channel. Search for oh, F This Network website. on YouTube. F This Network on YouTube. Wait, I have to give you guys homework. One dozen is 12, like this episode. All right, so your Sarah, Sarah, this is all you. You uh, give us homework. So one thing that we've been trying to do, you guys, is really uplift each other. We don't want to talk about the corona bullshit or politics. So we're talking about real life shit. Neil gave us an awesome movie to watch last week, and he was kind of like the host of tonight's show. Next week is me because I am the next oldest. So the movie I have chosen for everyone to watch and then to weigh in on is... 21 grams. Oh, shit. Now, this is a heavier kind of movie. Definitely not something that I would watch with the kids. Totally be like, don't watch it after a busy fucking day. You want to make sure that you watch it to the end. I've seen it before, but I'm going to rewatch it. I never get to watch it then. Fuck. Just kidding. 
just yeah, fucking yeah. Chlor- chloroform them bitches. No, and the kidding. reason why Sarah's sharing it here also is so for our listeners, please listen or go watch so you can talk with us. Yeah. Yes, we would love to have some input. Just how we all Very talked good. about Neil's awesome choice for last week. <laughs> Come and like weigh in on this upcoming next Tuesday when we're going to be talking about 21 Grams. We would love to hear what you guys have to say. It's an older movie, but it's one that I... It really fucking stuck with me. It resonated with me, and I will divulge all of that next week. Also, we will have the same bits we did tonight, the new Shantaisms, how it touched me in a good way, and, of course, our newest one. What did you call it, Chris? Silver lining. Silver lining, because he's a positive-ass person. So he's, he's turning. He's he's turning to the light side, and I'm turning to the dark side now. I think okay. we're gonna have a rant. I think I think Malcolm's gonna be. That's yes. gonna be Malcolm's corner. <laughs> so oh, Malcolm's corner. In a couple of weeks. So we're like Sarah alluded to. We're gonna have different hosts each week. Rotating. Uh, That's nice. Yes, rotating. So I believe Malcolm will be in about four weeks' time. So if anybody has has any questions or anything that they want to ask for with uh, advice, uh, message us. Uh, we'll, we'll save them for that episode there where he can give some advice. sound or unsound advice, <laughs> whatever he wants to do, because he'll be the be effing host there. <laughs> yeah. And just so you guys know, Malcolm is one of the most well-rounded, most unjudgmental, most chill, laid-back guy that I've ever met, and I'm very laid-back, so anyone if you have anything in the entire world that you just want to get off your chest rant about you could even tell him not to post it in the episode please reach out malcolm's there yeah you can be an an anon yeah anon exactly Uh and michael morgan davis i just have to reach out because i've been seeing your comments thank you for watching and being so sweet he's been so funny (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, he's been sort of talking about. Uh, okay, don't talk show. about it anymore. We gotta end this episode. Right. Love you guys. Well, <laughs> weird. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah. Please tune in next week at uh, nine p.m. Tuesday ish. Ish. <laughs> yeah, we're doing this weekly. Yes. Yeah. Woo-wee. Okay. So <laughs> next week, hey, our I host will wanna, be Sarah. He Check might out be lying. Twenty-one wanna, grams. I just want to put it out there: if uh, we can find a sound guy slash video guy. That'd be yeah. great. We do have one. His name is Malcolm. Is Mel- I'm, I'm, I'm doing the best I can, but it's not as good as I would like it to be. And I would also like to step away from all this and focus on just being a host, host. so I can bring some quality content. Because right now I'm kind of juggling. Clicking the buttons. I'm kind of more focused on the technical end than I am focused on content here. I'm, I, didn't, I didn't even do my homework for this movie I was supposed to watch. <laughs> I, mean, I ended up fucking going into the Western world and hiding. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just putting so, that out there into the universe. If if somebody knows somebody or someone knows someone, I know someone. Out with some nerds and work on sound. Yeah, email us. We do the yeah, flip. exactly. We do little one offs every once in a while. We'll do little movie commentaries, movie watch alongs. We'll do some little D and D things on, on, on. We do play D and D. That is a thing. And are fun. <laughs> we record it now too. Oh, Michael yeah. says he knows someone. Michael, please message us. Please let me know <laughs> or myself. Let me know yeah. if he's serious yeah. because we have gone through a few people who kind of uh, didn't plot they were kind serious. of uh, yeah. We don't pay, but so we play. We are not for profit. We do this uh, straight up from the heart. A cupcake. We do this for the love of it. Yeah, yeah ooh, they I make bomb ass really stuff, which I haven't tried yet. But, oh, we'll hook you up know. with stickers. We got a lot of stickers. Yeah, we, we got a lot stickers. of F this stickers. I wish I brought some in here so I could show you. I them. have some. They're in the staircase. Let's go. Cool. You guys send me oh, some no. so I could put it on Blanche. Oh, you need yeah. to send some to Sarah. Yeah. yeah. I guess Why didn't we I... do that yet? I don't need to fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like it's, it's, it's basically... I know. Well, here we have our official stickers. Yeah. Get it up in that's there. Cool. That's, that's our logo. The F this logo. Because we're just monkeying around. Yeah, they're four by three. Yeah. Four by four inch by three inch stickers. They're good quality. They totally Clear. rock. Raven Prince made them for us. They're sticky. Boop, boop. They're Shout scrap. out to Raven Prince. Shout Thank you, Raven Prince. Prince. Nikki and Vicky. Excellent service. Mm-hmm. Great service with a smile. They made our shirts for Christmas, too. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah, all right. So they're they're sticky think... and they they're scratch and sniff too. They smell like monkey butt. Check them out. Check them out. It's fantastic. I think that about concludes our episode for the night. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys had a good escape for tonight. Oh, That's just a nice shout out to Michael Morgan Davis. Uh, we're not selling the stickers anymore. No. Let us know. Yep. Let us know where yep. we can meet you and we'll hook you up. Yep. We'll Look just give you some because we love you. Get you hooked up there. Yeah. I work with your brother. Come and come <laughs> see come see one of us in person and we'll give you a couple of stickers. Yeah, right? man. We just want to get that fucking monkey face out there. Yeah, man. Yes. Yes, All yes. Right. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next week. Maybe uh, check out the movie, too, so you can share your guys' Yes, thoughts. 21 oh, Grams. It's a fucking badass movie. Trust me. All right. All right we love you guys. Excited. All right. Much take love. care of yourself. Peace out. Peace. It's F this. Fuck this.